Alrighty, thank you so much for that awesome run of Pokemon Puzzle League. I'm going to throw up a quick ad for y'all. We will be right back. Alrighty, welcome back to Summer Games Tongue Quick 2017. I'm going to throw the mic over to the lovely Edo Bean. Thank you guys so much for having me. Hello everyone and welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick 2017. I am Edo Bean and I will be here hosting uh, for this portion of Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. I'm gonna go ahead and read just a couple little donations that we didn't get to go through. Um, we got a $50 donation from Tabby Kitty 13 that says we're so impressed by FFR's awesome puzzle league skills. Pika. Ben Decker, thank you so much for that $150 donation. Cloister's voice lines gave me nightmares during all of my university. I don't blame you. Quill Sparks with the $15 donation saying, Pokemon block is the best block. Is it the best that it ever was? <laughs> Got another $150 donation from Vanessa that says, super excited for the heart gold run since it's my all-time favorite game. And this puzzling run is a real visual spectacle, moving so fast. Money will be split between the two Kingdom Hearts 2 bonus bosses since it's my brother's favorite game.
Thank you, Pets, again for your $40 donation. So hyped for the Pokemon block, and I can't watch live, but I'll definitely be watching the run when it gets put on YouTube. We gotta catch them all, and letting animals ride in your ship is basically catching them, so put my money towards saving the animals. $20 donation from HH4 Hooch saying shout out to my FFR Smart and Flag. Pokemon Puzzle League was always such a fun game to play, except when your little brother has the S hard world record. <laughs> Don't let Trollsy ruin the run. And show me too, I'm gonna win. Just as a reminder, guys, we have loads of prizes going on during this Pokemon block. Um, we have things from a field guide to Kanto um, provided by our fan gamer. Um, all you have to do is donate $10 to enter your chance to win that. We have a missing O plush, which is also $10 if you want to get your chance to win that. We have Pokeballs, Pearl, or Earrings that are for a $5 donation. And then we also have a Pokemon Perler bead set, also for $5. And there's just so much more. Definitely loads of prizes during this blog. So if you want to get your chance to win some of those Pokemon goodies, go ahead and do so now. We have a $25 donation from Undying Song that says, today is my birthday, as well as my first time donating. Thank you so much to everyone for all of their hard work. This event is so important. And also, shout outs to my friend, Dr. Alasaurus, who has been waiting for the Pokemon Puzzle League run.
Just as another reminder, we are still trying to meet an incentive that hasn't met its goal yet. It is for the firemen, and basically what it is is we need $4,000 if we want them to play the, on the U.S. prototype version. Um, so if you want that to happen, please go ahead and start donating towards that incentive now. All right, it is now time to start with Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. Take it away. So, um, time's actually going to start in about 10 seconds. I'm kind of cheating here. I'm using a, an external timer here. I'll explain what's going on in a sec. But so, two, one, go. Okay. So this is a uh, Pokemon Heart Gold. <laughs> Um, so what I did right there was um, I'm trying to get my ID to be something specific. Trainer ID. Yep. And if you want to explain that somewhat. So, so the reason why he's looking for a specific trainer ID is because it lets him know that he hit a certain seed. And based on that seed, he'll be able to manipulate encounters, his starter, and manipulate a little bit more further on. The way RNG works in this game is that you're able to control it by taking specific actions because the RNG only advances each time the game has to call for an action that requires it to like roll RNG. So we're going to start that seed on the right path and then continue down that path by only changing the RNG by taking actions that are specific to the route that we want. So. And getting that yeah. is a little awkward because we're going to have to sit here and look at uh, Oak's precious face for a little while. <laughs> So we have to wait about 36 and a half seconds after we change our DS clock, and then we have to wait about a minute 21. So I'm only going to do this a few times. We do have a backup DS right here that I just have to swap the cords out for, which isn't a huge deal. It's a frame-perfect trick, so. So I'm going to give it a few tries here. Unfortunately, uh, we can't actually check yet. We have, yeah. to wait for yeah, we, have, we have to wait for mom to be like, hey, how are you? Here's your, you know, gameplay options. Yeah. Let's hope he gets it first try. That would be I, awesome. I believe. I think I reset super early on the soft reset, so I don't think I'm anywhere close. But You think you're on the wrong second? Oh, I think I'm very much on the wrong second. <laughs> <laughs> the audio was a little muffled when I heard it the first time. I believe. No idea Ooh. what that is. OK. okay so we get to go through that again. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll do this a few times. And if I can't get it, then uh, I'll just be a little cheater and have a second cart ready. <laughs> It's completely integral to the run. You absolutely have to have the ID. Yeah, we get to go through this joy over and over. Isn't, isn't it appealing? <laughs> oh, yeah. If there's any donations, now is a yeah. fine time to do a couple. No problem. We actually have a $100 donation from Dragon 28 saying, good luck on the run. Donation goes to runner's choice. I think I said I was going to do a uh, Jill for Resident Evil. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want her to be a sandwich. <laughs> we also have a $25 donation from RT Theo that says, Here comes Heart Gold. So excited to see its run this year. Much love to the Pokemon block. Yeah, we're still good for another minute and a half, so 
Have at it. Go ham. <laughs> no problem. We got a $5 donation from Anonymous that said, had to donate during the Pokemon Hawk World one for such a great cause. Wanted to wish Kazeron good luck and give a shout out to the gunner making the couch look good. But keep that gun luck out of this run. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's rubbing off on me. Yeah. Huh? yeah. You don't want gunner luck. No. <laughs> the practice has gone so bad since I got here. <laughs> Oh, so there's also a specific reason why I'm picking the girl. So uh, she's cute. Yeah. That, that's... No, but uh, the catch tutorial is a little different, depending on who you pick. Um, if you're the boy, then the girl actually fails it. It's pretty silly. Which is just slow. So we get to sit here for another 20 seconds or so. So we, we have donation. a $10 donation from AC that says SGQ is the ultimate <laughs> boredom buster. Had to donate uh, for the Pokemon block. Good luck, runners. We have a $251 donation from Kindle Dust that says I always get hyped for the Pokemon block at a GDQ. Thank you so much to all the runners. I wish you the best of RNG. My donation is going towards naming Cyndaquil Fire Sonic. Second gen <laughs> is best gen. So I actually lied. I'm going to do this one more time if I don't get it. And just for the sake of trying not to take forever with my estimate, I'll just switch to the other cart if yeah. it comes to that. No, we're going to get it. Oh, we got it here. You think Let's so? It. it looked Let's good, dude. Oh, one early. One early. So one more try. One frame early. You guys get to see the lovely DS screen again. <laughs> <laughs> that was really close, though. So it isn't a 60 frame per second game, so it being frame perfect isn't as bad as some other games. Like, if you look at, like... Gen 3. Yeah, Sapphire or Emerald, yeah. then that stuff is 60 frames per second. And if you saw my RPG Limit Break run, then you saw how terrible that was. How many, how many did you get to there? Uh... It was, yeah. Uh, my, my record for failing it is 84, so. My laptop was also uh, beefing it, so yeah. it was also that. Go over estimate, you don't even have your mudkip yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took, a, it took a donation for me to finally get it, which just proves how much of a sellout I really am. That's right. Memebig.net. Hey. If you want to do a couple more donations. All right, we got a uh, whew, a $150 donation from Double uh, J Hose that says, um, I've never played Pokemon games before, but this game looks really intense. I'd love to give it a shot one day. Good luck to you guys, and also, shout outs to my friend, Kristen. Shout outs to Kristen. <laughs> All right, we're getting it this time. Third time's a charm, right? We got this. This time for sure. <laughs> this time for sure. And Kuzeron's using a tool that, um, like a, an external timer that we have open on a computer right here that kind of helps him time the button a bit. It, it, it counts down and flashes as he gets close to the frame that he actually is supposed to press A. So that helps a lot. Um, I think most runners that play this game use that timer. So, so we get another 20 second wait. The, the wait time in this is ridiculous. Um, in the glitchless route, the soft resets a lot earlier and then the entrance into the game is a lot earlier, too. Mm -hmm. But the run, of course, is a lot longer. OK, I, All have, right. I have confidence so, this time okay. that we're switching to the other DS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's really interesting how we have to handle the backup for this. So we have another DS to my left, and it's actually still on right now. Uh, we can't save. Like, we just flat out cannot save until we get about an hour into the run, because otherwise we destroy a lot of what we're trying to manipulate. Yeah, that is like I was talking about before. You have to take a set of specific steps that call RNG. Well, saving calls RNG, and that's not in the route. So, come on. Ooh, Ooh. one late. Yeah. Okay. One early, well, one late. You know, I'm going to make the quick switch real quick. Yes. OK. I'm uh, Tyrant14. I'm Gunner Maniac. I'm Orlin. And the quiet boy is Alta Biscuit. <laughs> no, that's a Goomy. Oh, you're right. Silly me. Okay, there we okay. go. We're back. Now, we did it. We got the Oh my game. goodness, I got it. Yeah, <laughs> first try. We did it. All right, so now you're going to get to see some of the magic of this, like the Meryl. 
That actually has absolutely nothing to do with what I was gonna say. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do really specific movement because I wanna keep my RNG in a certain way. So you're gonna see probably the most unoptimal looking walk to the lab. I mean, it's to the left and up, right? I'm gonna take this little detour, high five the sign. Oh, right, she's well. not looking the right way. But we're not done yet. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> So it's possible that the DS had been sitting too long, and that... Which, my, my encounters won't be manipulated from here, so the, that'll the, add a little bit to the fun. Yeah, the starter also won't be uh, manipulated anymore either. So That's, that sounds like not, not Don't fun. say such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is if the hour ch changes to... So we were supposed to be on the sixth hour, and so the DS has probably been sitting too long, and it's changed to the seventh hour, which changes the seed that we'd be on, which causes RNG to act differently. Nah. Okay, so if I could get the Cyndaquil nickname real and, quick. And before Shiny. Oh. <laughs> Madam Host. All right, we are naming it Fire Sonic. We did it. Oh dear. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Eh. <laughs> eh, I can't do this fast. Why did you do this? <laughs> uh, do we even have space for... Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. There you go. We did it. So yeah, like Tyrant was saying, we might not actually have the Cyndaquil that we need. We can make it work. It's gonna be a little sloppy, but the most important thing is later on, we're fine when it comes to getting our next Pokemon, which if you looked at the donation incentives, you already know what it is. If you haven't, then I won't spoil it. So now we get to start, you know, the actual run. This is one of the coolest Pokemon runs out there at all. If you're not familiar with this run, it's kind of like a really nice hybrid between glitchless runs and glitch runs. Glitch runs tend to be really like, you know, don't have Pokemon battles, just get right to the end of the game. And glitchless runs tend to run a little long, but this is um, a run that has kind of the best of both worlds. So if you've never seen it before, you're in for a treat. I'm displeased that she's not looking the way she's supposed to. <laughs> so the NPCs will behave in specific patterns depending on what your RNG is. So that's why Tyrant pointed that out immediately. So we may very well be running a bum Cyndaquil. But I'm not going to look. We're going we're gonna to keep Wait. it a surprise. Well, you'll know really fast. It should be fun. Because <laughs> normally she's supposed to be looking left now. All right, right, and then... It's something similar to that. Ignore what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> this, this way, then this way, then... Then that way. I'll dance. I just noticed the frame you picked. What the heck? <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Please. At least it wasn't the boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll know rather quickly. Okay, um, one time, lucky. So I'm going to be taking a really specific path in the grass. If I get an encounter where I don't want like yeah. that, then yep. it's rip, but... We're going to go through with this. We're just going to have a bunch of extra encounters. So what's supposed to happen is you go through the grass and you get no encounters because you're really good and you manipulate the game. Which is especially useful because running through grass in this game increases the chance that you get encounters a lot and then you can just continue to run through the grass because it's all manipulated. Like I'm going to take the path so everyone can see what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> but you're going to see a lot of this boy. You know, I lied. I'm curious now. How bad are you? That's not that great, but... You ever run a physical Cyndaquil? <laughs> it's great. That's fine. We have, a, we have a load of backup strats or something like this, too, so we'll be fine. Um, when it comes to getting the second poke that I'm going to use, I'm not going to be able to pull that off in the same way, but... I'll, I'll briefly explain it. Also, I lied. I'm not going to show you the movement <laughs> because we're getting butchered by encounters. So in just a sec, we're going to run into an old man that's going to teach us the wonderful ways of the world, and that's a really good time for some donations. All right. We got a $50 donation from Anonymous that says, Good luck, Keys. Can I get a wiggly woo from the couch? Wiggly woo. Wiggly woo. <laughs> Uh, got a $15 donation from Zapdos23590 saying, Hey, Keys, good luck on the run, and remember, wiggly-woo, 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 wiggly-woo. We have a $15 donation from Zolosium that says, 
<laughs> what sound would Edo Bean make if she was a Pokemon? <laughs> Pikachu. Hey. <laughs> Solid. There you go. Well, no There's clapping your... for that, man. This crowd is <laughs> something else, man. It's because they were hearing Pikachu all from the last game of Pokemon Puzzle League. That's, that's probably fair. why. They're like, ugh. That's fair. He never shuts up. <laughs> We have a $250 donation from DJ uh, Vanilles saying, hey, Keys and Gunner Maniac, uh, DJ Vanilles here. Uh, here's some money just to help out. Good luck on your run and hope the RNG gods are good to you. They haven't been so far. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, DJ. Are we thanking him for that being bad or for the money? Yes. I can be okay, both. There we go. There we go. <laughs> So um, something I'm going to be doing that's a lot different from if I were actually doing a run is I'm going to be doing a lot more walking, which is obviously slower. Um, running through the grass actually increases the likelihood of getting an encounter because of the way that RNG advances. RNG advances in really interesting ways, depending on your movement. Also, we're going to say hi to this guy because he's pretty lonely. And he's so lonely that if we tried to run past him, he'd stop us anyway. <laughs> Take the cutscene to him. Exactly. I'll show him who's boss. <laughs> so usually after this dude, if we did the movement correctly, we'd get a Pidgey, and we would uh, faint that Pidgey for experience that we need later. So if he does get a Pidgey, he'll probably uh, get the experience from it. I'm going to take the more grassy part, too, just so we can get one. It could be just about anything at this point. It's going to be no encounter. Yeah, there, there you go. go. <laughs> I had to force it. See what I mean? I ran. And <laughs> I summoned them. So we're just gonna take this. That'll do, right? That'll do. Good thing we're naughty nature, huh? This, this <laughs> I tackle, was gonna. I was tackles gonna doing a little more damage. <laughs> Physical syndical three shot. I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, hey. I'm so Syndic proven wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Fire Sonic, you my boo. <laughs> Pog champ. Man, I'm so bummed because I really want to show off that movement, but. There are times where even though we have the tools to make it happen, it'll take sometimes an hour just to get the ID. It's pretty rough. Yeah. The resets are so long for this category. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's absolutely you... worth the wait. Like, just... Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, honestly, if you had done it like two more times and gotten it, you'd be ahead of where you were now. Absolutely. So it's like, mm -hmm. it's, it is worth it. It's just really, really, really boring. Yeah, even with cheat on timer, it could still take a while. <laughs> So uh, after this, I'm going to get a phone call from uh, Professor Elm because he got robbed. And then after that, we'll end up in a trainer fight. So after that trainer fight would be about a good time to close off uh, Centrit donations. <laughs> Thinking you're going to get a Centrit. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna, you saw how many I got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, you're not going to get any now. Exactly. Oh, don't say that. Anyone who's ever run Gen 2 knows. <laughs> you know how this works. Because you can't get Pokeballs on your first pass, so that's when all the Centrits come. Well, you can if you use Pokemon Crystal Speed Choice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to take the path over here instead, because that has less grass. Take a nice, gentle stroll through. OK. <laughs> <laughs> there's the Pidgey. Level 2. It's too late, but there's the Pidgey. I didn't realize Caterpie gave you that much experience. <laughs> How long are encounters in this game? Long enough. Yeah. Dude, Pidgeys for days. You know what I could do is instead of Sentry, I could get a Tauros. <laughs> a Tauros? <laughs> yeah, get a Tauros. It learns, sir. Yeah, it's a 5% though. I mean, <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> so the options are Sentry and Tauros. Indeed. I say right after this fight ends, it'd be a good time to cut off Centrit. We're definitely getting Centrit. The good people paid for it. So something interesting about this, it's just a minor thing, compared to the original games of this, is when you fight him, he's question mark, question mark, question mark, but they decided, hey, we're going to give him an actual trainer class. Everyone always talks about how they like, you know, in Gen 2, they go back and name the guy question mark, question mark, question mark, because they thought that was his name. <laughs> this guy did that. Ooh. Uh, let me save. Pretty safe. Nice.
Nice. Nice. Ooh. nice. Didn't need to heal at all. What am I doing? <laughs> Not at all. Fire Sonic's trying his hardest. <laughs> I'm going to look at this level up real quick. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's a little worrisome. Well, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. I'm scared. You and nah. me both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very scared. We have Flame Wheel. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Teach Flame Wheel. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really weird for me to uh, do this not manipulated movement because I've been practicing it so much the past couple of days and you now would... I'm just avoiding grass. You would never do this, right? Like you would just reset. If you oh, had... you would just reset forever and ever and ever. So. I was really tempted to keep going because I was only one off those last two times. But yeah, it was a tough decision. No, I made the wrong decision. <laughs> in the meantime, Tyrant of you would like to look for my other cart in here so we can load the DS up with it. Um, uh, oh, rival name? Do no, we have? There is no. Okay. <laughs> Manip. <laughs> I think it's a good name. So normally we would uh, heal behind Elm after this cutscene because we don't usually exit the fight without damage, but we kind of lucked out there. And since I don't have to worry about step counter or anything anymore, I'm just going to run out. Careful. <laughs> We have a $15 donation um, from President Bocelli saying, why watch fireworks when I can watch Pokemon? <laughs> the fireworks are probably faster than me. It's not in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Is this ultimate keys of luck? All right, so while we got this, uh, this catch tutorial going, um, I'm going to go ahead and drink my... Do SA Mountain Dew because it's the 4th of July. And, Crack you know, open a warm one with the yeah, boys. Yeah, a warm <laughs> one with the boys. Oh, that is awful warm. Oh, it's great. I love you, America. What is this? Why didn't we refrigerate it? <laughs> we made a mistake. We made Z mistake. Put it on the other side. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's runs like, no, you have to. <laughs> You think, uh, you think Canada has their own Mountain Dew? You want me to look? <laughs> I couldn't find it. Oh, it's in my pocket. Just kidding. Oh, my God. Uh, this guy. This dude. There we go. We're good. So, yeah, um, I wasn't paying attention how to catch anything at all, so if we run into that sentry, I won't know how to do it. <laughs> See? Just like that. I'm telling you, we're getting a centret. Well, I'm calling my shot. First one? That's a centret right That's there. a centret. I'm calling my shot. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know, cent centret gruesome wings. It's okay. We got the defective one. You dare to incite the wrath of centret. <laughs> Here, here's centret. Watch. See, I was just joking the first time. <laughs> All right, so we, we do need that nickname for Centred really soon. So uh, we, we have it. We have the name. Um, it's going to be Titus Brand. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people in my Discord think I didn't see what they were planning, but I, I saw that coming. <laughs> Titus Brand. Shoutouts to anybody who watches wrestling. Yeah, no, I don't know what that is. Uh, you don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. Barely. You get what you want. <laughs> also, I need to stop running. Stop running. Stop running. <laughs> I forgot to turn the button off. There's an auto run in this game. It's pretty nice. Oh. It was uh, the RNG minute, those bonks. <laughs> For sure. I'm so scared how the rest of the fights are going to go. This is garbage special. I believe in physical syndicate. I don't. <laughs> it's 
fine. We get, we get repel soon. We just got to go through another two routes. It's okay. You're getting the original experience of the game before we absolutely cheated and broke everything. <laughs> what was that estimate again? Enough. <laughs> Are you sure? Enough. <laughs> Where are all these centrids coming from? <laughs> you get the Titus brand and they all come out of the woodwork. They're sad they weren't, they weren't named uh, Titus brand. That's why they're all coming to you. <laughs> I guess. They want to be part of it. Yeah, like imagine this whole section with literally no encounters. <laughs> like... <Yeah. laughs> Also, you're running the whole time. Yeah, you don't stop. It's great. You walk for one part after you get the running shoes, and then you just run forever. It's great. We would be on Faulkner by now, probably. No, it's too much, but... I, I mean... Close. Mercy. Probably fighting Hoot Hoot. Hey! Hey! Oh. We did it. Nice. <laughs> so we have one, two, three, four more patches of grass. And then the tower. Oh, <laughs> no. I forgot that was a thing. I've been spoiled by Manip. It's not a grass encounter rate in the tower, though, is it? Ooh. I okay. think it's lower. Okay, I'll, it's, we'll take that. It's got to be. No, the, the encounter rate in Sprout Tower is Garbo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like those numbers I'm seeing. <laughs> so we rely on Cyndaquil because it has good enough special attack until we get to what we need to get to, but uh, this guy over here. Yeah, a big difference in this game as compared to Gen 2 is that Sprout Tower is forced, mm -hmm. so you have to go through a bunch of Bell Sprouts, and Cyndaquil does a really good job of cleaning those up compared to uh, Totodile, which is used in Gen 2. Well, actually, Totodile is faster for Sprout Tower. Really? It is, which is silly, but it's terrible for everything after Faulkner because it's not evolved early, so. Mm. All right, so I did this right. I didn't give mom money. That's about <laughs> one thing I've done right so far. Oh, baby. Can we do Come it? Come on. Come on. Hey. hey. Feels good. Here we go. Feels good. All right, so other than Sprout Tower, other than Sprout Tower, we can, we can do everything else. Except maybe actually kill things with this. <laughs> we just need to be in Blaze all the time. Easy. We do have a little bit of downtime here, just some movement. So if you want to read some more donations. No problem. We have a $15 donation from Dr. Doobie227 that says, Hey, Keys, Dr. Hey. Doobie here. Wishing you luck, my friend. Can audience do me a favor and ask Keys a very important question? Oh, no. Is Champ here? Any of you say that you're banned from the <laughs> Pokemon community? <laughs> We have a $10 donation from Carlito NSP that says, watching this Heart Gold run while playing Heart Gold will surely make me play better and regret my decision to use Sudowoodo as a physical wall. <laughs> Putting my money towards Oh My Dog as Raifu's name because all other options are wrong. Um, just say USA is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> We have a, a, unfortunately, they didn't say anything, but Beer in Heaven donated $1,000. Oh, wow. wow. Thank you. Uh, Daristo donates $20 saying, I wonder why Miltank isn't on one of the game covers. It's obviously a legendary Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, Moo Cow is pretty strong. It might not be on the covers, but it's probably on the card. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a $5 donation from Ionice92 uh, saying, uh, Hey, Keys, good luck in your run, and I have to say thank you for getting me into speedrunning. It may have been a while, but seeing you run Crystal gave me the drive to try out Red. I'm Runner's so sorry. choice. <laughs> So usually if somebody asks me if they want to get into Pokemon speedrunning, I'll recommend either Red or Crystal. But then once they get into it, I'll immediately regret telling them Red. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with that game. Pokemon Red is evil. 
That doesn't even begin <laughs> to describe it. <laughs> Good turn to crit. Yep. Classic. Pretty standard. So yeah, this entire tower, it's called Sprout Tower for a reason. <laughs> and we, we fought five of them so far. We're going to fight ten total. But we do get a break. We get to fight a Hoot Hoot. That Hoot Hoot's no fun. He, that's a good point. He does not mess around. <laughs> he sure doesn't. You know, this might actually be a good thing that we don't have the RNG going because if, if I had completed the manipulation properly, we could not safety save at all. We would just have to keep going and going until we got to a certain point. But because we're bad <laughs> and I'm not manipulating, we can actually save. So if I lose to a fight, it's not going to be a huge deal. And Kizaron didn't make it through a single run without dying to something not stupid one. in practice, like every time. <laughs> like, how does missing 10 out of 13 fire blasts sound? That was my practice. <laughs> I, I seen it. I. I <laughs> <laughs> I learned how to uh, hit the top left tile. That was my practice. Fire Sonic's putting in some work, though. Better than Torchic would have been. That's right. Well, I guess I can take out this other headphone now. I'm not doing the timer, huh? I can hear the game so much better now. <laughs> I need to like, get untangled. What is this mess? <laughs> I was warned of this, no. <laughs> That's the last uh, Bellsprout only fight. Yeah, and like. I want you to pay special attention to the name of the next trainer. <laughs> the run is, like, pretty similar to Glitchless at this point. Like, there's, like, the route hasn't really opened up yet. You haven't gotten to see, like, what makes this the any percent run yet. So, up to Faulkner is, what, you know, roughly half an hour with the Manip and then you get the other 15 badges in like an hour and a half, so. At least it's not the level four that used to kill Worcester for what that's worth. <laughs> Literally one tile. <laughs> what a jerk. You know, this is where the rival's like, I don't need anything except strong Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. Get out of here, Manip. Who needs you? I need you. Come yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this next fight gets pretty old. You die here a lot and runs, or can die here a lot. Elder Lee. <laughs> I'm guess he's in his like mid late twenties. <laughs> and so, what makes this fight annoying is the hoot hoot. Now, it is a chance with a manipulated Cyndaquil. It is a two-shot chance if you're in Blaze, which I keep saying Blaze a lot, but I don't think I've had it explained yet. So if somebody wants to explain it for me. Uh, yeah, so Blaze is the effect where when you're under or at one-third HP, your fire moves do 50% more damage. So if, like right now, his fire, his Ember is going to do 50% more damage. So there's a lot of spots throughout the run where where we will like intentionally set up low HP so that we can do more damage. Um, and you'll see that throughout Pokemon speedruns because the starters generally have the equivalent of that move for their type. So um, yeah, it's a really big deal. These fights really aren't going too terribly bad. Well, the hypnosis miss was good. It was very good. We also got those criticals earlier, but then we got that useless critical. We haven't missed tackle yet. That's amazing, actually. And I don't think I need to use... Ooh, how's Rival 2 going to go? You have a physical... Oh, oh wow. On. Last tile again. No, it got bigger. <laughs> okay, so conveniently they put an escape rope here, so we don't have to climb down. I was literally just about to say we won't get any more encounters because we can just leave, but... You know, level 4 Rattata. Always haunting me since SGDQ 2015. We do have time for a couple donations. No problem. We got a $20 donation from Gengar Belly that says, Hey, Kizaron. Hi. Uh, Gengar Belly here. Taking a break from writing my master's thesis to wish you good luck with the run. And remember, meme big. Dot net. Dot net, yeah, dot net. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so normally I would keep this entrant in there. And we would just blitz with the Cyndaquil, but I don't, I don't trust anything right now. 
Uh, Faulkner's lead is a Pidgey with Sand Attack, and Sand Attack is a lovely move. It's also worth noting that what he did there was swap his Pokemon with the move option in the PC, which um, heals them, and it's faster than actually taking the Pokemon Center to do that, so. Yeah, so his first Pokemon, the Pidgey, like he said, has a Tackle and Sand Attack. He's 50% to use each move, so hopefully we win the 50. 50%. You know what else is 50%? Roost on his Pidgeotto. You know what isn't actually 50%? <laughs> Roost on his Pidgeotto. This fight can be really trolly because the Pidgeotto can spam healing. Okay. Oh, nice. wow. Okay. This is another fight where Blaze can be important. I'm really curious to see how the fight plays out. I want to see I want to see Gust or Tackle. I don't want to see Roost. Be a pal. Oh, oh, ten damage. Tackle. Oh, well, uh, it's it's more the fact that uh, he's faster. Oh, <laughs> that's not cool. Oh, that's not cool either. That's that's really bad. Don't do me like this, friend. So you'll see this Ember does more because he's in Blaze. Oh! Oh, oh, nice. oh my god. <laughs> that was really good. That was insane. Oh my god. You're trying so hard, Fire Sonic. I love you. <laughs> like, that fight could have lasted another minute easily because he was going to keep roosting. He was going to have to heal on that turn. There was going to be no mm -hmm. more Blaze. Like, you actually, how many potions do you have there? You could have lost, yeah? Uh, I either have I have four left. Okay, so you, probably you not. Get pretty five. much like needed a burn there. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> this is going to be uh, quite the journey. <laughs> I'm glad that you have joined me for this. <laughs> Critical's one in sixteen, by the way. So, I'm almost positive that was probably a range too. Like I would possibly, I would yeah. say probably. probably yeah. I probably just Gen one. That was crazy. <laughs> Hey man, it's like they say, memories that last a lifetime. Who needs Manips when you can get stuff like that, you know? <laughs> this is way more exciting. I, I don't know, man. I'm pretty <laughs> nervous. <laughs> yeah, because you don't know what's going to happen. This is what makes Pokemon Runs real right here. You know, this is probably for the best. <laughs> I'm, I'm not Kirby Master. I'm excited. The Cyndaquil has shown spirit. That's all you need. So uh, something interesting to note is in the original Generation 2 games, you get this egg that I'm about to get by going to the center. I don't quite understand why this changed. Um, I was quite confused when I first played this. But you can't actually progress the story if you don't get the egg. So. That is correct. You just get stopped over and over. Which is annoying because you actually just have to like deposit the egg. So, because if it hatches, it's slower than depositing it. So now we're being told that it's really important, which you'll, you'll see how important it is really soon. <laughs> <laughs> and also, they forced a lot of like mandatory things. We, you would skip this guy. In Gen 2, yeah. yeah. But if I tried to run past him, he'd be like, hey, hold up, buddy. I see you beat that flying gym. Let me give you this grass item. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking out for us. Probably could squeeze in a donation right now. No problem. We got a $10 donation from Lukewarm that says... Had to donate to both support uh, Kizaron's run and give him a friendly boo hiss. <laughs> Donation goes the key's choice. But that guy is not forced in this game. But yeah, it's it, really odd what they decided to. But is in Gen 2. It's super weird. So we're about to get a taste of our first spinner. So spinners are these trainers that just spin around. I mean, and if they look at you, you have to fight them. And, and it's, you hope they don't. And it's super stupid. Ooh. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That was so rude. Yeah, so there are four spinners total in this run. And 
That's one of them. That's the first. Oh, we're going to hit all of them. Still Blaze. Feels good. Bad special attack, though. Feels bad. Yeah. I'm surprised. Also, would it be possible to get the game volume turned down just a smidge for me? Ooh. Yeah. And there you see the, the importance of stats. If he, we had the Cyndaquil that we were going to manipulate, that would have died because of having better special attack. That's perfect. Thank you. I forgot how much louder the game got as you played it. <laughs> My poor ears. So there's another spinner here, and he, he has a great poke, too. I really don't want to hit you. Be a friend. Come on. Hello? <laughs> Thanks. OK. All right, so this is what separates this from Glitchless. I'm just going to do this real quick, and then we'll explain it. And oh, no, that's phantoms. Oh, no. <laughs> Who's there? So I had a really specific movement there to uh, do something called tweaking. I'm going to throw it over to Tyrant to explain that one. Uh, so uh, pretty much the game is loaded by in 32 by 32 grids. And then within those 32 by 32 grids are 16 by 16 grids. And where they intersect are load lines. And if you uh, go over those load lines fast and in a certain pattern, you could uh, distort the maps. And then you can get access to places that you normally can't get to without it. There's a lot of different ways that tweaking can affect the map. Sometimes you can like push two maps together so you can like cross over a zone in between them. In this case, we entered the well from the backside and then by not having the trainer blocking him there. So otherwise you'd have to run all the way into the town and talk to Kurt and Kurt does his spiel about I hate Team Rocket. <laughs> so that's the first like huge difference of this run compared to the glitchless run is tweaking, which is the major glitch that we will make yeah. use of in this it's run. It's the only glitch we use, really. Yeah. Is it the only actual mm -hmm. glitch? Okay. You'll see it eight more times in this run. There's a couple that are really, really hard. And they're also, um, the other ones besides that one are, are a lot easier to kind of see what's happening as far as like everything being crazy, so. Man, I've never appreciated that Manip Cyndaquil <laughs> more than I do now. But Fire Sonic here. Yeah, like, I mean, that tweak actually only saves a little bit of time, right? Because you're only going back to the mm -hmm. town and then coming back. But the other like tweaks... saving steps in a cutscene. Yeah, yeah. But the other tweaks are actually sequence breaking the game, allowing you to do things that are otherwise impossible, so... Nice. Nice, nice. Who needs my nip? <laughs> <laughs> trying to pick up this uh, super potion here because healing items are nice. Oh, it kind of sucks because the uh, the manipulated Cyndaquil, I I could do a really neat strat on Bugsy if I had very specific hit points, but I don't even know how Bugsy's going to go. I'm definitely going to center it beforehand because our Ember PP is going to be really, really low. I'm going to need as much of it as I can get. I also need to deposit center it because there's a double battle that doesn't activate if you only have one poke. And that's why you would nope. generally deposit the Cintra. <laughs> sure. Uh, I was like, come on, physical nice. Cyndaquil, you got this. Sure. We'll just finish it off with quick attack. Man, these level ups are throwing me off because I hit that spinner. You actually have better HP than you do with the uh, manipulated Cyndaquil. Yeah, the manipulated Cyndaquil. I can't remember its stats off the top of my head, but... Like it's, it's a plus special attack nature. It has really high special attack IV, really good speed. You know, the stats that matter. Yeah. And we're like plus attack, so. Oh, this is a little minor change from gold, silver, and crystal. So this guy has two pokes instead of one, and he's actually an admin as opposed to just some guy. They made him important. But they made his coughing worse. Yeah, that coughing's 14 in Gen 2. Don't you dare. 
Does that die with the good? Uh, it can. It can. It can. Yeah. I believe it's a one in sixteen in blaze. Mm -hmm. Okay. Man, he sure didn't see that coming. <laughs> That's a pretty good time for a couple more donations. No problem. We got a five dollar donation from Kizaron's girlfriend, <laughs> saying, "Love you, babe. Good luck Love on you your too. run." Sending love from the fur babies and all of us in Spoking. Know what this run has been blessed by the jinx of good luck. Imitate oh, that explains everything. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> Imitated cry in 20 seconds or have a bad run. They made me do it. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> we have a $100 donation from Coffee Chica to 10 that says Heart Gold Soul Silver was the first Pokemon game. Um, my daughter and I bonded over, and we're so happy to see it played at a GDQ. Have a great run and put this donation towards the glitch exhibition for Majora's Mask, because we can't get enough of seeing games broken so expertly. <laughs> we have a $5 donation from Titus O'Neil. No. <laughs> I'm going to pull my mic just a little bit back because I got to read this. Let me welcome the newest member of the Titus brand, <laughs> trademark, in the Titus brand, trademark. We're going to make this centric and fire Sonic straight to the tag team championships. I'll drop another five if I can get a hug in honor of the Titus brand, trademark. Boy, that's going to be a cruiserweight champ this Sunday. <laughs> I'm so glad you're my host. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry for anyone that didn't like that. <laughs> if you didn't like it, you're un-American. On America Day, no less. So uh, this uh, Beedrill's not going to die, by the way. That's <laughs> a little, little fact. Um, he is a 7 and 8 range in Blaze. But, you know, we are neither in Blaze, nor do we have the right code, but, you know. That's one damage for your oh. attack. Hello? Hey, hey! What? For all five turns. <laughs> and then he rolls two at the end. What a friend. Individual rolls, huh? Yep. We have advanced beyond Gen 1. <laughs> also, if we did gold instead of heart gold, we wouldn't have to fight Benny. That's right. You guys made me fight him. So this is the double battle that we would do. And in fact, I can just talk to them and I'll be like, oh, we don't want to fight somebody with only one poke. That's <laughs> not fair. Little do they know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so since we don't have to worry about Minip, I'm going to save before Bugsy because that is what a smart person would do with a bad Pokemon. Oh, this is going to take like 20,000 years. I believe the when it gets the saving a lot of data, it's like 25 seconds. Wait. Yeah, sounds about right. Reminder that Worcester missed world record in this game because of how long this took in the final fight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Scrub. <laughs> yeah, not getting world record at a GDQ is so bad. All right, while Bugsy introduces himself, I'm going to take another sip of freedom. This is really awful tasting. <laughs> okay, so he has Quick Attack, Leer, and Focus Energy. Um, I... Uh, that's... I, that's terrible. That's dead to crit. That's fine. Just knock me into Blaze and let me high roll, friend. Okay. Come on. It's huh? gonna be close. Uh, Die. Oh, nice. nice. The power of Blaze. The power of Fire Sonic. <laughs> You know, I had, I had my doubts. I had my doubts, but I take that back. This is... Oh, this guy's amazing. We're just dead to rival too. It's okay. Wow. <laughs> he really wants to show off. Gotta burn fast. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Bugsy's really weird in this game compared to the older games because the older games he leads the Metapod instead and he uses his Scyther as his last. Like, you pretty much don't lose. Like, you only lose if you run out of Ember. And even then, you have to be really low hit points. 
I think I've died to this fight once when it wasn't the Scyther. It's because Kakuna has a Poison Sting. Poison hurts. So now it's time for one of the most fun run in any Pokemon run, the second rival fight, where he's got like a, a team that's pretty similarly leveled to yours, and it's a lot more diverse than your one Pokemon, so uh, runners tend to struggle with the second rival fight in almost any run. I'm pretty sure that we're going to die at least we, once. We are going to struggle, that's for sure. We do have a naughty nature, though, so that might, that might contribute a little bit. Also, it's really throwing me off because I keep switching between like the the DS view on the computer and then my actual console. <laughs> my neck wasn't ready for this. Neck like this, man. We have a twenty dollar donation from Amar two four seven that says, "Hey Keys, good Hi. luck from all of us in the Pokemon speedrunning community. Thirty dollars more if the announcer holds her nose and says." You, us got sprayed my dog. Keys will get it. <laughs> did you get it, Keys? I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh yeah. Also, when you use the uh, computer, you'll get the saving a lot of data again. If he had not used the PC, he would not get this, and it would save pretty quickly. I too just learned this. <laughs> <laughs> it would help if I actually fully backed out of the menu before I did anything. So, Fire Sonic's been doing really solid for us. I have faith that we won't lose too badly. <laughs> It'll be close. It's a battle of minute versus non-minute. This fight sucks. It's also one of the fights in Gen 2 that, like, you're really scared of. So this Ghastly has Curse. We don't want Curse. That's, Spite's wow, good. That's good. Nice. Very good. He hates Spite. I don't know if the... Is the AI going to be similar, even though the stats are yes. different? I would imagine it would be. So this Croconaw, hopefully, is a dum-dum. Hey, He's nice. scared of my speed. Little does he know that we're just going to quick attack anyway. Take that. Okay. Uh, ouch. 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 Um, Torrent could hurt. Nah, we're, we're fine. We're yeah. fine. We're fine. Uh, no, nah, we're fine. Oh, I see. Nice. Mm -hmm. So he switched to tackle there so that he wouldn't hit the Croconaw into Torrent, which is the Croconaw's version of Blaze. And then he used Quick Attack on the second turn to be faster. So that was smart. Can't get hit by Torrent if he's not in Torrent. He, yeah, he would have died if he yeah. Quick Attacked yeah. on oh, that. Oh, I, I would have been. Yeah. The, dead isn't even like the right word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obliterated. Now we just got to get through the zoo bat. So I'm going to quick attack because my speed's gone, and he's probably going to confuse us. Huh. That's a lot of damage. All right, Titus Brand, show what you're worth. Nice. So Centred's dead, and we've cleared <laughs> the speed drop and the confusion by switching out. So we'll switch back in and then go for the Blaze Ember, which will kill. I could have done Flame Hill. No, whatever. Less text that way. That's right. What a tag team. I cannot, <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe we made it past that fight. Yeah, that was, that was good. Now, if we like 1 in 16 tackle, we would be dead. For what that's worth. Yeah. It's like Do Fire Sonic knows. Doing too much damage puts him in blaze, then he kills us. So. Which is a very rude thing to do. So another change between the older games and this is we actually have to get two far-fetched instead of one, and the puzzle's quite noticeably different. I hate this puzzle. I love it. So originally what we would do is bait the far-fetched back to its owner, um, but in this you have to kind of bait its attention by stepping on those branches and then sneak up behind it and capture it. Never saw it coming. <laughs> and now we gotta do it again. So, no, another good opportunity for a handful of donations. 
No problem. We have a $80.20 donation from Kenny All that says, I collected a dime from each Pokemon in the Pokedex and thought I should send it along. Nice. We have a $15 donation from Headache uh, Queen saying, as like every year, I always enjoy my time watching GDQ. I lucked out to having two days off in a row and can watch all day. Top it off, Pokemon Heart Gold is my favorite Pokemon game. Even though when I first started playing, I got a shiny Pidgey and the only part that you can't catch Pokemon. <laughs> um, also, because I love your voice, lovely announcer lady, can I hear a Pikachu cry? Pikachu. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you people not clap for that? <laughs> <laughs> we got a $150 donation from Me Got This saying, Me Got This here, donating from the back couch. Can we get a great Jinx impression from Kizeron? Again? Ah, oh, you're beating me dry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this goes to Kizeron's choice. Oh, you clap that, but not the Pikachu. What's <laughs> wrong with the people? You guys make a good team. We, yeah, we do. There we go. <laughs> we have a $50 donation from Anonymous that says, Longtime watcher, first time donator. I love everything about the Pokemon series, and I remember playing Silver when I was young. Heart Gold is my favorite Pokemon remake, and I'm excited to see it destroyed. You'll see it partially destroyed. I tried my best at the beginning. <laughs> I'm also very concussed right now, goodness. All these bonks against walls. We have a $1,300 donation. Whoa. By the name of Rucario that says, good huh. luck Kizeron for a phenomenal run today. Make sure you make it a win. Uh, it will hopefully lessen the pain of losing the Kizakord Championship on Sunday. Rude. <laughs> $50 extra if Kizaron or someone from the couch can do the signature call of the leader of Titus Worldwide. <laughs> oh, uh, that, that. Hold on. I, I gotta get the mic out of the way because it's gonna be loud. Ow. Oh. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Just for you. This is your girl friend. <laughs> <laughs> so this is another thing they forced in the remakes. In the original games, you can just run right past here, but Ethan needs to hold your hand and show you how to use the daycare, I guess. I mean, he's being a friend. He's trying. Of the boy variety. <laughs> Grandma, don't say anything. We're supposed to exchange numbers. <laughs> I think she just wants some great grandkids or something. I don't know. So you don't normally do this, but uh, my, my poor Cyndaquil oh. is like super duper hurt. And I don't trust it. As after, well as it's done, I don't trust after it. After all of that. <laughs> okay, I don't trust everything around it. It's, 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 not, it's not me that's driving, it's everyone else that's driving. Oh, we did die here multiple times with the Manip sure Cyndaquil, so. Yeah. So we got a big shopping trip coming up. Um, good timing too. I know a bunch of my friends just went to the Mall of America without me. <laughs> Hurts. I love you too. <laughs> and we're gonna buy a. We're gonna buy Fire Blast because it's a great move. Deserves it. It's oh, such a good move. Oh, it's such a good move. <laughs> 85 accurate. You would think it hits more often than it does. In practice, I missed 10 out of 13 fire blasts. It was hilarious. I, don't, I disagree completely. <laughs> it was so bad that I actually gave the DS to Tyrant. Who would, he hit all his hit fire all blasts. His, yeah. Ridiculous. So we do have a backup if Kizaron starts missing. <laughs> <laughs> get ready to get up the, off the couch just in case. I'll be ready. All right. That could be the second consecutive GDQ I've been at where somebody pushes my A button for me. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Except I won't get fourth this time. It's great. I'm actually going to buy an extra. Just because we're switching to a different card after this anyway, so might as well play it super safe.
We have a $251 donation from Pinky Dash that says, Donating $1 for every Pokemon in Gen 2. Since Pokemon don't die in the games, put this instead towards killing the animals in Super Metroid. So normally after we get the bike, and I'm still looking forward to making this joke. You can um, still do it. I, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do it, but I'll look like a buster. I already look like a buster. So, yeah, normally after you get the bike, you would go to the radio tower and you would take part in the lottery because we manipulate our ID, we would win the Master Ball. I was very much looking forward to saying, oh, hey, we're so far behind, I might as well try this real quick. And, oh, look, we won. <laughs> you know. We got Titus Brand and Fire Sonic. It's almost as good. So yeah, to clarify, our trainer ID isn't going to match the lottery number, so we're not going to be able to it get it. It will. It will? The oh, trainer ID is still the same. Really? Oh, hey. Just kidding, guys. Oh, you're the one who's like, I can't do it. I, <laughs> you know. OK, well, I get to show off something that I'm a dumb dumb. There we go. So. Oh, look, we won. Oh, my goodness, all five digits matched. How could that happen? <laughs> I got a master. Oh, we did it. Can we catch something with that, maybe? I'll, I'll do it. Oh, goodness. Oh. So there's, there's so our second tweak, and as you can see, things are distorted. Okay, so this is, this is a much more noticeable tweak. And then, whoop. <laughs> you can't stop me if I'm under you. Let's go. So that skips the whole going through uh, the section above Goldenrod to just go straight in the gym. Yeah, so we're, we're moving the maps around when we do that. And um, the reason why we do that is because otherwise, in order to enter the gym, you have to get the radio card. And you have to deal with Whitney saying, I didn't know those answers. All right, get him, buddy. Well, you're a plus. Uh, attack nature, so these probably are guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With the Manips uh, Cyndaquil, this would be range, uh, 7 and 8 range? or Yes. Actually, no, it's 15 and 16. 15 and 16 yeah, ranges? It's, it's even better. So when you miss it, it's even worse. Because Fire Sonic worked on Arm Day and not Magic Day, so, you know. But I think we get a level up from this. Not like it really makes a difference, but it's there. Also, fun fact, did you know that Clefairy's gym is shaped like a Whitney? <laughs> I'm really sad you don't have a mic, Alta. I know you would say that. <laughs> okay, one. One for one. We're one for one. We're keeping track of this. My pride's on the line. So we're going to save before Whitney, because Whitney's mean. And it's going to take forever again, because you took the PC again. Sure did. <laughs> oh, it didn't. Get wrecked, Gunner. <laughs> Tyrant was wrong. Get wrecked, Tyrant. I don't know. It's taken a long time. OK. That was not nearly as bad. <laughs> And the best part when you do these tweaks is the game assumes that to get to certain spots, you've already accomplished the prerequisites. So she's like, hey, I saw you at the radio tower. You totally got the car. And it's like, no, I, I definitely didn't. So this Clefairy could be really fun. It has a move called Metronome, which can roll any random move, except Metronome. <laughs> Yeah, this is the fight that most people remember from their childhood, like, oh my god, that mill tank. Hello, friend? Thanks. But the Clefairy's the real jerk. It was never the mill tank. It was never the mill tank. Later, nerd. But we don't even get to see Metronome. I'm fine with that. No one else is. <laughs> All right, so normally on a manipulated Cyndaquil, you would either go for Blaze against this mill tank, or you would just use one X special, and it's a, what is it, a 9 and 16 range? Uh, 11 and 16. 11 and 16. You could do a completely YOLO strat where you don't use a special at all, and you don't use an X speed at all, and you just hope you win the speed tie and that you don't miss the range, and if you miss the range, then <laughs> you suck. You're dead. 
I think I've pulled it off once, and I've done it four times. I think I've pulled it off once in six tries. It's, it's not a smart strat. Okay, so I gotta remember to put the Sentret in slot three, because it's no longer fainted. Maybe a donation? Yes. No problem. We got a $20 donation from Anonymous that says the Apple Boom from Pokin here. Good luck on the run from one Pokemon community to another. 20 more bucks <laughs> if Couch can tell me what kind of animal Suicune is. It's a cat. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a panther. It's like a leopard or something like that. I can't, I can't remember. All of those things are cats. <laughs> You know what? Don't give me <laughs> sass. I'll kick you off this couch. <laughs> so, it might have been a little weird to see that I ran away from Pidgey earlier, because we do need somebody that can fly, but we get this Spiro that's absolutely free. Uh, we're supposed to give the mail to his friend, but we're not very good people. We're not going to do that. No. <laughs> so you're going to see... Um, did I even I didn't take enough damage? Um, you're going to see me do a tweak that I did earlier, because this is the route that you saw I distorted. We're going to do the same thing, except off the bike. And what's traditionally known as Spinner Hell is now nothing. And we don't need to cut this tree, and we just go past everything, and we just go straight to the Cedar It's pretty great. Yeah, that place sucks with it no sure tweaks. Does. You, forgot, you forgot to switch Kenya to second. That's fine. <laughs> I can do that after this. Just extra menu, whatever. Who cares? So you're going to Master Ball Pseudo Widow, right? <laughs> this is the real champion of the run. Well, there was a donation that said that somebody did indeed. <laughs> Do we remember who, uh, who gave that donation? Unfortunately, I do not know that information at the time. If I find out, I will let you know. Well, okay. he, he knows. Yeah. Mm. Well, now it's time for the main swap. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> No, I'm going I'm to go ahead and uh, I don't remember the name, but I'm just going to do this. Uh, here we go. <laughs> just for you, whoever you were, you. <laughs> so you would, you would not do that in a run. Like, I, I would just like to establish that very obvious fact right now. You, you would not do that. We have bigger fish to catch. Bigger cats to catch. <laughs> Excuse me, it's a cow. No spoilers. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> you even told me and everything. No, it's, it's uh, fine. It's fine. It'll just die right away. This is a fight that's specific to Gen 4. It's not in Gen 2. If but I had listened to Tyrant's warnings, then uh, I would have my, not my Titus brand up front, but you know, he'll, he'll, he'll try his best. You're going to see another slight change from the original games here, too. Uh, Kenya in the originals is only level 10, whereas here it's level 20, which is really, really helpful. Do he this. goes in on this. This fight would be really hard without Kenya that was level 20. Oh, my God. Don't, don't let this happen. He's alive. Don't let this happen. In fact, you know, I don't want it to happen. That's going to take forever. He's going to level up for years. So we'll just we'll do that. No big deal. What are you doing, son? No. <laughs> All right, we're going to be here for like... 20 minutes. You should have just used Flame Wheel on the Sentret. No, I wanted them to kill him, so I wouldn't feel bad. Oh, dear. Well. No. Oh, well. Why are you doing this? Okay, well, uh, this is not how this is supposed to go, and this is miserable, so, um, yeah, he earned it, whatever. She, she earned it. I am blind. Did you just assume Sentret's gender? Uh, I sure did. My goodness, how many <laughs> moves do you learn? No, stop it. It may not die. It's not. Oh, oh okay. Oh, <laughs> good, good, no! Good, good. Two turn he would have lived. Pog champ. <laughs> Sudo Woodoo. Yeah, this isn't part of the route either, but you know. Hi. Low kick. Does it have. Oh, yeah, it sure I it does. Which one's fatter? 
I don't. I mean, <laughs> Wigglytuff looks like it. Yeah. No. Uh, do it to Clefable. Let's find out. Or Wiggly. Yeah, Clefable. Are you just about to call somebody Wiggly Woo? <laughs> <laughs> There's no Wiggly Woos, okay? Oh. Wow. This is not how I envisioned this run going. <laughs> we're, we're, we're in it together, friends. All right, so um, <laughs> I, I, I'm not prepared for anything that's happening right now. Uh, it really doesn't matter what I use because we're switching carts because I'm a cheater, so we're going to do this. So normally, you would grab this. Doesn't really matter for us now. So yet another remake change. Usually in the original games, you'd have the option of fighting the Kimono Girls for Surf now. Um, we're going to be doing that a bit later. We still get Surf uh, earlier on, but we get the, the fights with the Kimono Girls a lot later. Actually, we're not even going to get them in this category. Yeah, we just straight up skip the Kimono Girls. Oh, why didn't I save? No, it's, it's, it's fine. We got... We got Cedar Budo. The Kimono Girls are crazy in this game. They're like really strong, so. Mm -hmm. Notorious run killers in the glitchless category. Let's go, Manib. I've proven that you're worthless so far. We get to deal with the Crocodile again. And the crocodile is going to do essentially the same thing as before. But this time, we're not going to get slow. Because we have this wonderful item called guard spec. It helps us not get our stats lowered. It's like a speedrunner's dream. You are so rude. I literally just said you wouldn't do that. <laughs> Left, next. Don't do that again. Good. Good. I nice, don't have nice. the Fire Blast anymore. It's over. Did you miss any? You missed no. no, he didn't miss no. a single one. Didn't you miss one on the Clefable fight? Oh, I did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, well, yeah. that was that was insignificant because Sudowoodo got the shine. Yeah. He has Actually, a I don't know if I'll kill Z bad. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, the burn didn't even kill. That's fine. It's fine. That is dead to both. No, no, no. It's, oh, it's, he it's, died to the burn. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. It's fine. We got this. I'll just, I'll just heal. No big deal. And of course, comes the worst. I was gonna fight. say Sudowoodo totally yeah. had it. <laughs> yeah, we could have done that too. I didn't even know you had that move. Easy. All right, everyone, everyone wave bye to Fire Sonic because this is its last fight. You've, you've done well. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Here we go. Who needs Fire Blast? <laughs> this is where we switch to Sudowoodo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're physical. We're going to do rollout strats. Defense girl rollout. Wow, he's so mean. So at this point in time, I would have a chart up, but we don't need it anymore. Um, I would take extra step, repel would wear off there, and I'll just get an encounter anyway, just kind of show it off. So we would do this, and based on our encounter, we would know what to do afterwards. Like, so if this is like level 14 female coughing, it might be another seven steps for another 14 male coughing. And then we would repel and then do even more steps. That way we could advance the RNG into something favorable. You're basically like getting a glimpse into what section of RNG that you've like find yourself upon and then you can react to that to manipulate the spawn location and stats of the Raikou. But since everything so far has been crazy <laughs> and we're on the wrong hour and stuff, it's not going to work on this cart so we have to switch to a backup. And also, it's a Soul Silver cart, so I, I guess I kind of lied. We're playing Soul Silver next. <laughs> Sorry to anybody that said Heart Gold was her favorite. Uh, we would we would walk and run in a specific way here, and then we would go all the way over here. We'd do something like this. We'd 
we'd get an ent oh, not Entaz, but say Enter. Oh, we get a Raikou. <laughs> that's that's the that's the surprise. This isn't crystal. Uh, you know, sometimes. Hopefully not an Entei. Uh, we'd get this rare candy right here, which I'm bad. Okay, so give me just a sec. We get to stare at this lovely screen for just a wee bit. And now all of a sudden you don't get to see anything. I'm just gonna do a quick swap. Back to my DS, because I don't like your DS tyrant. <laughs> it's a good DS. Your D your D pad's terrible. And then Oh hey, look, we're back here. And there's the audio. And uh Oh look! We got something named pizza because it wasn't <laughs> USA when I made this file. <laughs> Yeah, this, this Raikou has a very specific stats. Uh, this was manipulated, uh, so it was... This is what the Syndical is supposed to look like. There is a name raider in Goldenrod, so we can change all the yeah, names it, there. It will, it will get switched back. So unless, unless USA got sniped, <laughs> which I have to change Sentrit's name to. Mid-run snipe. Yeah. Uh, so just, just to double check, Raikou is supposed to be USA, right? Yes, okay. it's winning by a phenomenal amount. So phenomenal. <laughs> it was like eight thousand dollars when I checked before the run. So really, oh really, it got yeah, that high. It was a lot. <laughs> Shout out to Oro for starting that train. But yeah, so uh, we're we're gonna be stuck with pizza for a little bit, and then once we get fly, I'll I'll change it. So you know, first and second place win. Kudos to all of you. So this is a little different. In the older games, the Kimono Girls are in there already, whereas in this game, they're right before the legendary bird of whatever version you're playing. You have to fight them to prove your worth. And now a lot of this is going to be kind of a raffle stomp for a little while, because we're extremely overleveled compared to everything else, and we have Stab Spark. You do do this in Glitchless as well, though. Like, the whole manip for mm -hmm. Raikou isn't a glitch. Um, you're just kind of, like, doing what you would do in the early game, like, kind of controlling the way that the RNG is, you know, going to move in your favor. But uh, it means that Raikou's insane at this part in the game. Interestingly enough, Glitchless actually uses a slightly different Raikou. I believe it's a different mm -hmm. hidden power type as long as there as well. That's, yeah, that's... Slightly different stats. We use hidden power ice in this run, but uh, you need hidden power ground in uh in the glitchless run so you get a raikou uh that stats reflect that that need yeah th this one's stats are insane it has perfect attack it has perfect special attack both of which matter because you'd use both physical and special moves a lot like spark is physical so so you pretty much just one shot everything with spark and there is one range in the entire gym and it's uh, on morty and I am going to judge Keys based on how he moves throughout this gym. <laughs> there is a, this gym's gimmick is, it's dark and you have to kind of guess where to walk. And there's, there's a particular part where you can either run and look really cool or you can do what we call a weenie walk where you, you don't look cool. I should do it to bug you. <laughs> this run has already had so much weenie walking. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> It was necessary. It was. It was definitely necessary, but give the people what they want. Also, there's going to be nothing exciting for a lot of this gym, so this is a really good time for more donations. No problem. We got a $15 donation from Volcano Max saying, first time watching live and donating. Had to donate during Pokemon since it's been my favorite series since I first played Blue version as a kid. Uh, thanks for keeping me entertained while I work this week and keep it up. Uh, P.S. Save the animals. Killing them is what Team Rocket would do. They'd probably steal them, but... That's what I would think, too. Or fail stealing them, <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't know. Alta has a Team Rocket shirt. You're clearly a member. <laughs> Maybe you can give us some valuable insight on this afterwards. <laughs> uh, we have a $50 donation from uh, Cyperman17 uh, saying, Greetings from Wales. As an avid player of the original Gold and Silver, it's brilliant to see the remakes. Really enjoying the run. Here's hoping the RNG starts to work in your favor. You're well overdue. Some good luck. We got some pretty good luck with that, that Fire Sonic. The critical on Faulkner was so nuts. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. We have a $5 donation from Trainer Joey, who says, 
you ran past so fast, I couldn't exchange numbers. It's okay, though. <laughs> you should come back to see my Rattata. It's like in the top percentage of Rattata. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. That, Joey. <laughs> oh. He did what, it. Tyrant? What? <laughs> I'll give you credit. I'll give you credit. I like dinner in a movie. Okay. I'm getting fed. <laughs> uh, this gym is just spark, 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 spark. There is actually only one Pokemon that can live in the whole gym, so. Uh, we don't even have another move to hit them with anyway, so. Like, I can't just like, oh, I'm going to use a different move. Because Roar <laughs> would just push one away, quick attack doesn't affect them, and oh boy, reflect. <laughs> If I wanted to pretend like I was Generation 1 AI, I would use Reflect because it's super effective. His moveset's actually, like, terrible. But it Ter has... It terrible's has, a word. It has Spark, so it's okay. <laughs> terrible's a word for this. He will teach a move better than Fire Blast later as well. <laughs> we sure will. Better because it hits even less often somehow. Because that's, <laughs> that's what we need. <laughs> but yeah, so... This upcoming Gengar is a 5 and 8? Yes. It's 3 and 8 in Glitchless, I think. But in Glitchless, you don't use your rare candy right away, whereas this one. Yeah, so there, know, there's, we, six, we there's 16 different possible damage rolls that can happen when you roll to see how much damage you're going to do. So we're just you know reducing that down to 8s. To but it's a, nice. lot, it's a lot simpler than like Gen 1 and 2, where there's a lot more damage rolls that can happen. All right, so, you know, other than the sucker punch, this fight was great. It is very, very unlikely, but very possible to go through this entire gym without getting sucker punched. It's happened to me once ever. And then there was one time where I made it all the way to this Haunter, and then he sucker punched me, which was great. I was really expecting him to do it there. <laughs> I thought for sure. Right, so not after this gym, but after Chuck's gym, I'll be able to fly back and change those nicknames. Which I'll do that. We have to go to Lake of Rage after that, so I will go there and then fly and then change it then because we have to go to Golden Round anyway. We have a very massive shop we have to do. I liked my first trip to Mall of America, so I'm going to go again. <laughs> it's not a GDQ run without the name Raider. That's a very good point. <laughs> like poor Titus Brand. Poor Fire Sonic. And then pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to make our move set a lot better. Yeah, so Generation 4 introduced the physical special split. So instead of having a physical Shadow Ball, we now have a special Shadow Ball, which is fantastic. It plays to our strengths, and it gives us wonderful coverage for what we have to fight. And then also Sentry can surf. Uh, he is the best HM user. Like, he learns everything. Sentry's like the Bidoof of this game. Also, also uh, really fun Oh, you were about to say it. Uh, huh? Yeah, this guy runs <laughs> the Safari Zone in this generation, or the remakes, and he's really annoying and just really wants your phone number. If you keep saying no to him, he just locks you here forever. Like, you have to say yes. Like, this is... It's silly. He's very forward. Gotta grab some items here. That was really bad. There's a PP up here and a nugget here, and we pick it up because we need some money for later. Okay, so we're gonna go shopping. We're gonna go shopping twice in the span of, like, 15 minutes or so. If I did the movement right, then I could just pass her oh, effortlessly. <laughs> I thought you were going to do it for a no. second. <laughs> if you pick up those items like on the tile perfectly, then you can skip the cycle where she has to like you know wait to walk past there. This guy is so heartless. You know what would boost the mood, though? It's a couple of really good donations. 
No problem. We got a $30 donation from Split Memory that says, staying up late for Kizaron's Pokemon Run. Put this towards Lingering Will and Kingdom Hearts 2. Super bosses in Kingdom Hearts are always worth it. We had a $50 donation from The Fifth Matt that says, had to donate during Pokemon. This is the way the developers intended for the game to be played, right? No, absolutely. Glitchless, 100%. <laughs> That's right. Um, Chris179 donates $50, saying, uh, first year watching SGDQ. More than happy to donate to a great cause, but had to wait for the Pokemon run. Let's break last year's donation record. That would be impressive. So, yeah, I kind of took a detour there. We got Charge Beam, which is a relatively weak move, but it has a really nice property where it's essentially doing damage and using an X special at the same time. So we get to boost our special attack, which is very, very handy. <laughs> you put a lot of time into making Raikou's moveset better, like, right away, because it's terrible when you first get it. And it's interesting to note that you wouldn't get this in a glitchless run. And there's a really particular reason why, and you'll see that in about uh, five or ten minutes. Also, we should be getting the cycle. Yeah, there we go. That, that timing. Hey, thanks for riding my bikes for free. I'm selling them now. You get it for free. My million dollar bike for free. <laughs> So it's not too terrible of difficult, not difficult, <laughs> too <laughs> terrible of movement there. But uh, if you do mess that up, you do hit one of those trainers, and hitting one of those trainers actually is just straight up run over, because we need to make sure we don't get a certain amount of EVs because of how we're going to handle the last fights. Everything is calculated based on what our stats are, and if we hit the wrong trainers, then a stat might not be completely accurate. You're, you're in for quite the treat once we get to the end game. Yeah, it's really cool, especially compared to like what those fights used to look like. If you're familiar with what the category used to be, it's crazy how much it's improved. Some of the most difficult fights in Pokemon speedrunning become trivial, so it's cool to see. Also, this gym has a massive, like a lot of the gyms in general, compared to the originals, have a really, really big overhaul. Yeah, but you can just cheese the puzzles, so. And the worst part about this gym in the original games is you need strength, and it's not, it's not in the most convenient spot. It's not out of the way, but it's really, really annoying to miss it, because then you have to surf all the way back, and you feel really dumb for it. Uh, so we can die to Chuck. It's very unlikely. I'm just going to play it mega safe. And saving doesn't really matter because we already got our Raikou. Granted, we're going to sit here and kneel in the water for about a year. So what makes this fight dangerous is his lead is a Primeape, and it has double team. And, you know, that could lead to misses upon misses upon misses. We need to set up for one turn, so we're going to use an X special. And then on top of that, we can also miss Charge Beam on his Polyrath, and Polyrath has Stab Focus Punch. I mean, both of them have Focus Punch, I think. I'm pretty sure they do. Be a friend. Good. Good cat. And now we just need to hit a Charge Beam, and this Polyrath's gone. An alternate strat would be to get an X attack. Oh. Okay, that's rude. Uh, an alternate strat would be to get an X attack. Wow. And um, we're fine. Watch this. See? Fine. Uh, to get an X attack and use Spark instead, but we don't have the budget for that, unfortunately. That was the worst Chuck fight I've ever seen. Oh, it could, it could get worse. <laughs> oh, yeah. That charge beam is 90% accurate, I believe. Yeah. yeah with a 70% chance to get a special attack boost. So it's very, very favorable. So for me, it's not very favorable at all, but <laughs> yeah, that's not the point.
So he's got a little bit of movement here for the next few minutes, so another good time for donations. No problem. We got a $5 donation from uh, Leo Plaverdon, uh 73 that says, Good luck to all the runners today. I bet Keys won't talk to the director twice. <laughs> we also have a $50 donation from Grant that says, In memory of Jenny Carter, who supported Doctors Without Borders joyously and in whom we lost too soon. And in honor of my daughter, Rachel, who just started her first Pokemon journey at nearly five and loves inventing her own Pokemon, though she only events poison-type Pokemon. Should that worry me? <laughs> we also have a $600.66 <laughs> donation of Gotta Catch Them All. <laughs> Thank you, Anonymous. We also have a $20 donation from Justin that says, I'll be honest, I'm donating for all the Pokemon prizes, but I recently started another playthrough of Pokemon Heart Gold, and watching your run just motivates me even more. Anyways, may RNG bless your run, and to make things interesting for myself, I'll double this donation if your final run time has either an even number or even digits or odd numbers of odd digits. <laughs> Very specific. So that hiker that gives you strength is like, please don't cry. Does he still say that if you're the boy? I have no idea. That would, I have no clue. That would be interesting. Yeah, some text is different depending on whether you pick boy or girl. I feel like that's got to be. Or Ethan's just a big crybaby. <laughs> Poor Ethan. <laughs> Gets no love. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I saw that. What a jerk. So he's a spinner. He has a Nitto King. I honestly don't know what the Nitto King has. We're paralyzed still, so I really didn't want to find out. Granted, that made my movement look absolutely horrible. So I just real quick. Hi, Gyarados. Bye, Gyarados. So he's rampaging around the lake, and you know, normally you're supposed to supposed to deal with him, but uh, uh, I don't want to play that. We're doing the pacifist route. Now we got to take this massive detour, and we had mentioned earlier that our hidden power is hidden power ice. It's 66 base power for us, and we absolutely need it, so this detour is 100% worth it. It looks stupid. You know, you have to like surf around the whole lake and stuff, waste over a minute getting it, teaching it, but him, like having an ice move on a good special attacker is really, really important, specifically for Lance. All right, so now we're going to get those names fixed, and then we'll shop. I don't quite remember which one his house is. I think it's this one. This is really fancy. I've never seen this before. <laughs> All right, so uh, we are naming Raikou U-S-A. And you know, just for flavor. Oh, well, <laughs> there we go. Which reminds me, I had a $10 donation from Bucket List Ma that said, just got back from family fun time, right in time for Heart Gold Soul Silver Run. Best of luck, runners, and I hope if Raikou's name starts a USA chant from the audience. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Brand. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, there's a. I got to show off the intricacies of the touchpad there. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right, we're gonna pretend like this was a uh, this was Fire Sonic from before. There you go. It's like nothing ever happened. It's still the same run. We did it. <laughs> Just ignore the fact that it's Soul Silver now and not Heart Gold. <laughs> so now we do our massive shopping trip. So we're. Other than a couple of items that we're going to buy at the Elite Four, we're buying pretty much everything we need for the rest of the game. And it's, it's around this time that we're a little bit past the halfway point. I'd say we're about like 60% through. 
Yeah, that's assuming I don't mess up any of the other minips. So Keys is also mentioning that um, the version um, for Soul Silver or the Glitchless run uses Soul Silver because of World Islands being a lot faster. I actually don't remember why Heart Gold is faster for glitch or glitched. Uh, there's new movement where it's one turn faster to take out the Pidgey than it is the uh, Ladybug that you would get because the encounter slots are swapped. Also, you wouldn't get a Sentret, you would get a Rattata, which we recently found out. <laughs> we saw it happen. <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> I, I was literally talking to Gunner, and I was like, yeah, so on this tile, we're going to get a Sentret, and I look, and it's a rat. <laughs> so we just bought the best move in the game, Thunder. It's 70% so accurate, <laughs> about 30% so of the time. <laughs> we're going to buy a ton of X items here. Even though we're fast, there are a couple of things that are faster than us. We want to make sure we don't die. You know, considering that you get out-leveled in the late game. It this helps sense. with... a. Uh, this helps with the terrible accuracy of Thunder. Uh, I forget why we buy this. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then we just drop the rest of our money in X specials. Now we're good to go. Uh, we will buy some healing items later, but like I said, that's going to be at the Elite Four. I'm also going to go to Elm's Lab after this and get a heal real quick. You wouldn't normally do that, but... I want to keep my healing items, and I don't want to use my full heal already. And there We're is one more spinner before the heal house. Yeah. So I am going to uh, go home real quick. <laughs> just check it out, guys. I found this legendary Pokemon just out of nowhere. I know I left like an hour and a half ago, but you know, it happens. The reason why I'm doing this is because it's just, it's right there. We get less text. I don't have to worry about swapping into a, a PC or anything like that. Now comes the absolute hardest part of the game for me personally. And like a huge sequence break. Which I'm going to, I'll just do the repel first and then I'll save. Uh, there is a chance that I soft lock, so I am going to save. I'm also going to do a couple of menus here. We're going to teach it in power now because we're going to need it for our first required fight, you know, assuming we don't hit any spinners. If you're familiar with the normal way that this game is supposed to, you know, kind of progress, then you're probably wondering why we're here right now because it doesn't make much sense. Like, oh, you still have a lot of gems to do. But uh, the power of tweaking lets us sequence break the game like crazy. Oh, hey, look. Because I didn't use the PC, <laughs> we get a shorter save. Shh. Optimal. Why would you call me now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, second try is really, really good. Nice. You can see how specific that is. Really fast turns and stuff. And it's really important that I do it while my repel is still up. Nice first try. Okay, that was awesome. that was really good. <laughs> so we just skipped the entirety of needing waterfall. Yeah. So we didn't need Claire's gym. And we don't need anything else from any other gyms. So and the, we're and the set. Yeah, and the game's like, oh, you can't possibly be here without waterfall, so. Also, all those bonks are intentional because of his rotation. She doesn't see us if we're in the water, so we go here, so we avoid her. There is a spinner coming up, as mentioned. It's a fisherman. He has two quillfish and a sea king. Thanks, nice. friends. And that is it for spinners the rest of the game. See you, Joyce. Yeah, she's a spinner in Gen 2, so it's kind of nice that she's a rotator and we she's can pass a, her. She's a jerk in Gen 2. <laughs> sure is. She has a Pikachu and a Blastoise. Yep. Ash wannabe. So already, we use Hidden Power. Would not have another move that kills this Victory Bell, so. And I'm sure it's just got a lovely move set. I don't know what it is, and I don't want to find out. Nope. So this, it dies to two Sparks and two Shadow Balls. Um, I'm going to use Spark because it does have, OK, didn't use it. It does have Sand Attack. So getting the Paralysis and getting it fully paralyzed is really, really handy. Because this next Pokemon is a Kingler, and it has Protect. And there's nothing worse than being Sand Attacked, getting Protected, and then on the turn that it doesn't Protect, you miss. There's been a couple of times in the past where I've lost about 45 seconds or so to this fight, just because of that. 
using Shadow Ball over Spark there to avoid the super effective text. It's kind of a standard thing in Pokemon speedruns, but super effective text is like really, really slow in this game. Like over two seconds. So you want to avoid it whenever possible. Also, if you notice, I've been saying no to every number that's been offered to me when I can. That's just so we don't get random calls like Ethan. Ethan, I don't even know how he works. He's just, he, he's a thing. Also, this Parasect is another thing that we wouldn't be able to kill without mm -hmm. hidden power. And you know Parasect has a terrible move set. Good old Spore. Yep. Probably like Spore, Leech Seed, nonsense. So this Vaporeon is either a 7 and 8 or a 15 and 16. I want to say it's a 7 and 8. I think it is. We got it, so that's good. Saves us a turn. He, he doesn't really do much to us. So after this fight, we get to learn Thunder. That's the really exciting. The greatest move in the game. I'm going to save again. <laughs> you see a lot of saves before fights from here on out, because this run, as fun as it is, and as much as I love it, is very, very dangerous. It's a very I mean, you, volatile run. You just skip so much of the game that you are kind of behind on experience, so. Things pose such big threats. Like this fight, you wouldn't even think it's, it's just like, you know, a normal little trainer battle or whatever, but there's so many things that can go wrong in this fight. It's all based on thunder hitting or missing. I was gonna teach strength here because we're gonna push boulders soon. So, because this is totally 100% that original Cyndaquil that we used that was naughty nature. 100% true. We get to play to its strength by teaching its strength. <laughs> man, I see the 128 and I'm like, oh man, this run's been going well, but then I remember. <laughs> <laughs> it has, I don't know what you mean. So she has a Rapidash and a Flaffy. If you miss on Rapidash, it will Agility and then it will Will-O-Wisp you. If you don't miss on the Rapidash, but you miss on the Flappy, it'll Thunder Wave you. This is just status to fight, and you really got to hit these two. Good. Like we do have a full heal, so if we do get a status of some sort, it's fine. Uh, the Rapidash also has Stomp, so it can burn you. It can get faster than you, and it will... Um, oh, okay, that's interesting. Still faster with Cotton Spore. I mean, Flaffy's a pretty heavy sheep. Yeah. Man, look at USA grow before our very eyes. <laughs> All right, so that wasn't too bad. I mean, I'll, I'll take that any day. So now comes a really, really massive change compared to the Generation 2 games. Uh, in Gen 2, Victory Road is a joke. Also, he said we have eight badges. We totally don't, but, you know, don't, <laughs> don't tell him that. He doesn't actually check. Yeah, he's just like, oh, hey, you're here. You must have it. Man, this Victory Road is very intensive and very long. No trainers, though, so that's nice. The Gen 2 Victory... Well, there's one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> the Victory Road in Gen 2 is almost, like, lazy in comparison. The movement here is much more difficult. Wow. Okay. Well, I didn't bonk. For Better what than yesterday. <laughs> Gross. Normally the repel wears off on the next floor, but it will be fine. Unless I do more of that. I just want to remind everyone, um, for those that are watching, um, this, uh, as we're getting really, really closer towards the end of this Pokemon run, it's also be the end of the Pokemon prize block. And there are like 11 prizes <laughs> that is being given away during this Pokemon block. Um, most of them are like around the $5 range. The highest, I believe, is 15 um, so if you put in those donations now, you might get your chance to win lovely, lovely prizes. Um, some of them being a uh, Alola Friends a phone strap set, a Misty No plushie, um, a Pokeball Perler earrings, all sorts of stuff. So if you haven't done so now, do so as we're getting really closer to the end of our Pokemon blog. i say before this, because we, we do have one fight. And unfortunately, since we're on a different cart, 
our rival is no longer Manip. I don't remember what I named it. Uh oh. I fit. I'm pretty sure it's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be the last time. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know, man. I think I'm offended by that. So this this is interesting. So we lead Thunder here. If we miss, then Sneasel has Icy Wind. Icy Wind, bad. Oh. Oh, well, you know. Okay, so now Jump. we're slower, so we're just going to... Uh, sorry, Titus. <laughs> Look at him getting buried further down the card. Thunder is so stupid. Okay, we have a couple more chances. Cool. Okay, good. You could do something where you buy, like, a guard spec and then set it up so you don't get the speed drop, but generally what I'm doing is a little better. You know, just don't miss. It's easy. Exactly. Also, waterfall hurts, especially, especially if it critical. Oh! <laughs> okay, well, you know what we're going to do? Uh, actually, no. Nope. That's not going to do enough. Yeah. Um, well. Oh, come on. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, um, that's Rival. 10% charge this, beam, 30% thunder. This is why we saved. It's okay. See, it's totally heart gold. Anti-crit. God. Yeah, what, what a friend. Miss, crit, miss. I mean, you know, looking at his text, he wasn't wrong. Our journey sure ended there. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. So we're not going to miss. And everything's going to go according to plan. See, that's already a better start than last time. We have a $25 donation from SubX that says, Pokemon Gold is one of my favorite games of all time, so it's amazing to see the remastered played so well. Good luck, and save the animals. I don't think I've ever seen him use Slash at my health being that high. Okay, that boost is really good. So we're just going to hit and power the next three things, because we have... We have essentially double what our special attack is right now. Um, using Hidden Power means we don't miss on the Golbat, which the Golbat does have an annoying moveset. And then using Hidden Power on these next two pokes means we don't get any super effective text, so we save a little bit of time. And then after this Kadabra that's coming up, there's one more problem, because we have to hit one more Thunder. And it's on a Magneton. If we miss, it'll Thunder Wave us, which is always fun. Like, essentially, everything that you can miss Thunder on has something that really messes with you. So you, you really don't want to miss. Right, that second fight was way better than the first. That's how it's supposed to look. Yeah, exactly. I, I wanted to give you guys a taste of what it was like <laughs> if it were bad. All of these in-game fights used to be terrible. The, these in the Elite Four still are, but... Mm -hmm. Also, he just slowly saunters out. I don't get why he went that way, when he could just walk up and go to the Pokemon Center, but... You know. I would like to say that that was absolutely planned to be that, that way, but it, it wasn't. That was just... I was going to say, that Repel was really sick. <laughs> No, I did it again. Okay, so now we say bye to Fire Sonic. You did so well on the other cart. So we just do that to get a heal on Raikou. And then we we deposit the Quilava more because... What am I doing? Uh, more because um, it's just a little more convenient to do the heal that way. And then we also get one less Pokemon that goes into the Hall of Fame.
All right, so there's our healing item. So we're done with shopping for the rest of the run. We don't need any money. Now, I am going to save before every single fight in Elite Four, except this one. Because even if it goes south, we're fine. But every other fight, something can go horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. And you don't go through that in Glitchless because of the level difference that we have between that category and this category. So the worst thing that Will can do is confuse Reyes and then his Slowbro living. His Slowbro is a 7 and 8 range. Well, I mean, I'm already there. It's interesting how many things in this game, like, just barely have a chance to live, even though this Raikou is, like, absolutely insane and perfect and stuff. There's a lot of really close ranges. Psychic there is the best move he could have used. Mm -hmm. He also has U-Turn, and that takes a long time when he has to switch to another Pokemon. <laughs> that one was for free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that one. <laughs> you hear how close it was, though? He's become a master. <laughs> and we get boy jinx in terms of cry. So this Slowbro can live. And I can't remember specifically what all its moves are. I know it has amnesia. So if it lives, it can use amnesia, and it just becomes annoying to try and kill. You're a pal. OK, that's fine. Don't you dare miss it again. Yeah, missing that range, and then amnesia, and then it doesn't take any damage, and then she's healing, and it's awful. But nice. OK, we'll take it. And he has another saw too, because he's not very creative. And then we're going to barely just hit level 46, which is important because I want to use my rare candies now. We're massively under leveled at this point in time compared to where we want to be. So those candies are going to make a huge difference. Do it right here. And now comes the string of saves before fights. So at this point in time, we've used four total rare candies on this Raikou. And in, um, in a glitchless run, I believe you used six total on him. Like, you really have to beef him up. So there's two options for this Koga fight. He leads an area dose that has poison jab, and you can either set up on the area dose and risk getting poisoned and end up missing thunder anyway, or you can just go for the thunder and then set up on the Foretress. The Foretress isn't nearly as scary, but it does have something worse. Good boy. So Foretress has Toxic Spikes, Swift, Protect, and less than 1% chance to use Explosion. And there's been one runner that has actually gotten explosion from this fortress. And it wasn't me for once. <laughs> we're going to use these X accuracies because we're going to use thunder for the rest of the fight. And there's a crowbat coming up that we just do not outspeed. It's actually just going to use two. So now Thunder isn't going to miss except for potentially on Crobat. And also there's a Muck coming up where I believe that's also a 7 and 8 range. 7 and 8 is like a really common number for these ranges. I can't remember what he has for a moveset though. We might find out in a sec. Okay. Better not find out. Yeah. So now we can miss Thunder. And we sure didn't. So this fight pretty much went exactly how I wanted it to go. Not missing thunder. Exactly.
He's been counting on being down to one Pokemon from the very beginning. It's a bold strategy. It didn't pay off. Okay, so out of the next three fights, Bruno's probably the least dangerous, yet the most dangerous. So I am going to play Mega Safe and use this potion. That didn't do as much as I thought it would. Okay, well, you know, I didn't play safe at all. I just wasted time. <laughs> so he has a Machamp that can live seven and eight once again. And Machamp has very strong moves. It has Cross Chop and it has Revenge. Revenge can do up to 133 damage. We are not at 133 health. And the only reason why the Machop, Ch Machamp lives is because the Onyx before gives terrible experience. And if you hit level 50, you would, it would be guaranteed. Now this fight can also go one of two ways for the start. So. We can either set up an X Accuracy and one X Special or two X Specials. Two X Specials eliminates the range, but we don't do it unless he burrows under the ground for the second turn as opposed to what he just did. Normally he does counter. This is going to hurt. So at one X Accuracy, Thunder is like 93? 93%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a lot better than 70, but still, you know, basically tackle. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very strong tackle. And let me tell you about tackle. Tackle's a great move. <laughs> All of you didn't start playing until Gen 5 or higher. You, you, don't, you don't understand the pains. <laughs> okay, so hitting's a good start. Good. Thanks, friend. All right, this fight's done. Well, it isn't. I could miss and die. I don't know why I said that, but, you know. <laughs> I never noticed how many physical attacks it tries to learn. Despite being a special attacker? Yeah. He's got 115 base special attack. It's amazing. Now, if Dig crit us... We might actually have to appeal before this Hitmonchan because it does have a priority move. I don't remember how much damage it does, though, but lucky for us, we don't have to worry about that. So up next is Karen, and Karen is easily the worst fight in and all the, of the Elite Four. In my opinion, I think the entire run as well, possibly. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll hyper. Do another safety save here. We have a $25 donation from Davey205 that says, second time watching GDQ live, first time being able to donate. I love this event, even if it does ruin my sleep, and decided during Pokemon was a good time to donate, seeing as it's my favorite. Keep doing what you're doing, also save the animals. So the start of this fight's really interesting. So we're going to use Charge Beam because we want to do a little bit of damage and we want the boost. Okay. Critical, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, yeah, that's cool. And now, through that double team, we want to hit Thunder. Oh. Through that double team, we want to hit Thunder. <laughs> through that double team, we want to hit, oh, come on. No, come on. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Um, okay, that's a heal. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Have I mentioned, through that double team, <laughs> we want to hit a thunder. Unfortunately, even with the charge beam crit, charge beam probably still does not Second from here. Classic Pokemon, double teams again, then you hit. <laughs> Unbelievable. But the fun's not over yet. We have to hit Thunder one more time. <laughs> and it's, it's not terrible to miss it one more time as long as we hit it after that. Because what's coming up next is a Hound Doom, and it has Nasty Plot. And then it has, uh, I can't remember if it's Dark Move, but it has Flamethrower. 
Dark Pulse? Dark Pulse, that's right. Yeah, after a Nasty Fly, he would kill us. So, yeah, that, that, that's good. That wasn't terrible. We didn't have to reset for what that's worth, I guess. My Thunder PP is kind of gone, but... Some more donations would be good. No problem. I actually got an anonymous $150 donation that says, I came for the thunder and stayed because it missed. <laughs> <laughs> Have another $150 donation from Escalon that says, first time donating. Um, having a blast watching this speedrun. Raikou for the win. He's all right when he hits. We have a $25 donation from Duggernaut that says, Hey, Keys, good, good luck on the run. By the way, what is that pink thing on your shirt? It doesn't look like Gen 2. Donation goes to saving the frames because we need meat for our barbecues. This is a love disc perler that a wonderful person named Chaos gave to me. And I'm proudly wearing it over my heart because I love America. <laughs> Aww. I'm trying to remember I forgot to do something there. I think I'm good. Famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> See, the nice thing is people who really like this theme, we get to hear it again in two more fights. Three, <laughs> three more fights. Okay, if we get the boost here, then we're really, really good. If not, we have to set up on the Dragonite, and the Dragonite can hurt us. Okay. Nice. Very nice. good. And now, basically the entire reason, not not the entire reason, but mostly the reason that we pick up Hidden Power is because this fight is so bad without it. Four times super effective to Dragonite is like classic how you deal with it in speedruns. Gen 2 is Ice Punch, Gen 1 it's Blizzard. It used to be Ice Beam, but a <laughs> lot has changed. That's right. Fight's still not over yet, though. Something can still go wrong. Hopefully it won't. After the Dragonites, it's a Charizard and an Aerodactyl. We have to set up an X speed on a Charizard, because Aerodactyl's faster than us. And it has a lot of things that really, really suck to deal with. speed real quick. Charizard typically fire fangs. Him burning us isn't a big deal. You can make me look like a dum dum by doing a different move. It's cool. And now we gotta play this game again. Ow. Uh, Heal it off. We saved. Nah. Okay. I mean a theme's good. If we have to hear it again, no big deal. Now then, if I miss Charge Beam, <laughs> I'm going to be like a dummy, but... Hey. Thanks, buddy. All right. Yeah, Lance is a deceptively dangerous fight because you still have to hit another Thunder, and we all know how much Thunder hits. You use so many moves that can miss on this run. Mm -hmm. Everything. Tackle, Fire Blast, Thunder, Charge Beam, everything. Now we're going to get an interview. It's my third one today. <laughs> you have less than 40 minutes to go through Kanto. Do you think you can do it? Oh, no, man. Kanto's, there's a lot of Kanto. Kanto's really big. It's a whole nother eight badges. Yeah, to, to complement our eight badges that we have now. <laughs> yeah. We are currently at five. We're halfway there. Yeah. Now is a pretty good time for donations. It's just a Hall of Fame sequence. No problem. Um, we have a $25 donation from Confidential that says, just had to donate during the Pokemon block. Pokemon is my favorite game series. It has changed my life. What better way to celebrate that than by helping change the lives of people all around the world by contributing to MSF. Thank you, everyone, for the amazing run. 
We also have a special donation from Edward of ten thousand dollars. Oh man! It says, "Longtime viewer had to skip donating the last few times because of financial issues, but here to make up for lost time." My mother passed away two months ago, and she's the reason I got into video games to begin with, since she was always the main gamer in the family. On the lighter side, I recall spending many, many hours on the original Pokemon Silver and looking forward to seeing the newer version torn asunder. I'd like to shout out to my friends in the library and on Discord, and here's to medical aid for all who need it. Thank you so much, Edward, for that donation. I'll give that another clap. <laughs> Very generous of you, Edward. So, we're not done yet. We're the champions of Johto. But I hear that there's somebody in Kanto. I want to beat him up. Friendly words, I know. So, at this point in time, there's about... Assuming I get everything first try, it's about like 20 minutes or less-ish. Now, we are going to be in an interesting position here because I'm not 100% sure if the last fight is going to go the way we want it to go. Just because we had the one switch carts, two switch consoles. I believe it'll be fine, but I can, mean... Can you even win with the items that you oh, have? Uh, <laughs> about that. <laughs> We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, if it doesn't work out, then I'm four for four and looking dumb at GDQs. So, you know, tradition continues, I guess. What a legend. All right. So famous. Nothing will beat Animorphs, 75%. So the boat is a lot fancier now. You'll see that in a sec. Look at how fancy it is. Also, this is the beginning of getting a ton of cutscenes, so, you know, blame Gen 4 for introducing a ton of them. It made Gen 7 think it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the layout of this is completely different to what a gold or silver player would recognize. I recognize nothing. Exactly. So there are three more fights from here. And the next fight is actually pretty, pretty easy because we have to hit Thunder. But two of the things we hit Thunder on have no guard, so we can't miss. So from here on out, we just we don't miss Thunder at all. It's I, pretty nice. I thought we were memeing the no guard. <laughs> nah, nah. We've memed enough. I've missed enough Thunders. I'm not even sure if anything else kills these. I think Machop dies to something, but I'm not sure if Machoke does. Also, now's a good time for some more donations. No problem. We have a $150 donation from uh, B. Jensen that says, Good luck to the runners. Thank you, Clara, for your $50 donation that just says, Why not? <laughs> why not indeed? <laughs> now, is it why not like the question or why not like the Pokemon? I was also wondering that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that up to your <laughs> imagination. <laughs> Darn, I'll never know. We have a $125 donation from Hike and the 123 that says, had to donate again during one of the most influential series of games in my life. I could never be red in this game. That's a shame. Uh, good luck and save those animals. Not well, an easy fight. If I got news for you, I too <laughs> might not be able to beat Red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm pretty sure we're fine. I'm just not 100% sure. But if we're not fine, it's so bad. Either way, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Good's a word. <laughs> Maybe not for you, but, <laughs> but for everyone else. But these rooms are so fancy. I still can't get over that name raider room. That was like a fortune teller. Yeah. An interesting choice. That's one of my absolute favorite strategies in any Pokemon game is flying to the very city you're in because it's faster than going through a bunch of stuff. You do it in Gen 2, you do it in Gen 3, and you do it in Gen 4. It's pretty great. You do it in Gen 6, too? Yeah, it's Gen 6. Wow. Oh, uh, last tile. I mean, it's, it's, it's about a coin flip to get an encounter here. It doesn't really matter. Hey, there's the Pidgey from earlier. Got big. That's, that's the last encounter we'll get. So we do have three tweaks that we have to go through. One of them is really, really cool. And the other two are just kind of there, I guess. Got this. If we had that, we're going to get it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hello. OK, that was too early. I cannot get this right now. Thanks, friend. As I <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just going to hit everything. So we do this to avoid a trainer fight and to avoid encounters. Because otherwise, we would have to fight that guy right there. Reload the map by opening the, mm -hmm. the menu, and also couple that menu with a repel. And then this is actually my favorite tweak coming up. It's, it's nothing special. You, you deload the Snorlax. I just, I don't know why. I just really like the movement behind it. <laughs> OK, so news. <laughs> I have to do a bit more. <laughs> nice. OK, we have to do the boat again. So that's a good thing we have, like, what? How much more time do we have? <laughs> That was weird. That, that's actually never happened to me before, so there's a GDQ staple. <laughs> never happened before. So you like the boat, right? So just, I'm just, I'm just going to save before that. Just as another reminder, like we're getting closer and closer towards the end of this Pokemon block, and there are a lot of prizes that are going to be ending after this Pokemon block. Um, 11, 11 prizes, all bunch of things from plushies to starter prints to cross stitches, um, all sorts of stuff. Um, so if you want to get your chance to win those prizes, donating right now is the perfect time to do so. Um, the lowest would be five, the highest would be 15 um, to get your chance to enter for any of those prizes. I literally never thought that that could ever happen. <laughs> I would have saved otherwise. So you had to reset because the manip wasn't going to work anymore? Or? Yeah, we would have gotten EVs that would have put us past. Literally never thought that could happen. It can if you're bad, so hi, I'm bad. We have a $10 donation from Anonymous that says, first time donating, wanted to donate during my favorite block. But man, what was with Lance hacking all those Dragonites? Also, gotta save the animals, cause you know, gotta catch them all. <laughs> we'll do another $10 if announcer Pikachu's again. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> oh, I get a clap this time, thank you. <laughs> I think they got tired of me chewing them out. <laughs> We have a $10 donation from GamerSeth87 that says, had to donate during Pokemon Block. My absolute favorite series, I still have all the games. This money goes to helping doctors save patients and helping runners save frames. Kill those animals. No, honestly, I think I'm more bummed that that happened than me not getting the ID initially. That's 
That's pushing it. <laughs> I don't you... know, man. Fire Sonic really worked. Well, it was fun, for sure. But do, have you already forgotten all the encounters? <laughs> yes. Okay. That's Sele good. Selective memory. <laughs> A speedrunner needs to have selective memory. I think it's because I'm getting a little tired. I need a little more of my DUSA to wake me up. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's going to get any better the more I drink it. <laughs> the good news is even though we lost a little bit of time, like it's not terribly much. We could have lost just as much time on any of those fights that we've had before. So we'll just pretend like I had a bad fight or something. That's how I'm going to sleep at night. <laughs> also, the SS Ant theme is just, uh, SS Aqua, sorry, it's just so good. I like it a lot more in Gen 2. I agree, but it's still pretty solid. Also, I really like that effect of the closer you get to the engine, the quieter it gets. Yeah, feel free to go ham on a donation since we're just doing the same thing again. No problem. We have an anonymous $50 donation that says, I couldn't help but donate during the Pokemon block for both the great cause and the fond memories. My deepest thanks to all of the runners and crew for making events like this possible. Through the best of times and the worst of times, you've been an inspiration to us all. Good luck, Kizaron, and may the RNG be merciful. May my execution be merciful. <laughs> We have a $100 donation from Anonymous saying, Pokemon blocks at AGDQ and SGDQ are the highlights of my year. Happy to donate to a great cause. Donation goes to the Disney songs for Kingdom Hearts as it brings me back to my childhood. Can't decide, so splitting my donation between Go the Distance from Hercules and Part of Your World from Little Mermaid. All right, so this time we're not going to get the encounter. That's why I did that. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was even earlier than last time. Okay, so, like I said before, no more encounters. So we get to watch me mess this up again. Hopefully I do a better job this time around. Okay, well, you know. See, that's one to redemption, that's all. Nice. It's all calculated, it's, it's all calculated. Except this time, I'm just going to save here. Just because I'm in the menu already. Optimal. Yeah. <laughs> Optimal pansy strats. <laughs> I mean, you saw what just happened. I don't want to go through that again. But that was your favorite movement. It was, until now. Now I hate it. All right, Titus, take us to freedom. Okay, this is my favorite tweak. I like the movement. Thank you. And now all the trainers are gone and there's no Snorlax. Easy. First try every time. This is the same, <laughs> at least. I mean, there's, there's like rock climb stuff, but other than that. The required path. Yeah. Okay, hopefully I get the next week first try. There's one March week left, and it's a very interesting one. So as you can tell, like not only do we only have five badges overall, but we have none of the Kanto badges. My goodness, this movement. 
Should we go in this house? Because I actually don't know. Do you know, Ty? Uh, I don't know the reason why, but there is a chance that if he does this tweak without reloading Viridian, that it just soft locks him. But I don't know the reason why it does that. So I do have to save here and reset, because otherwise we just soft lock. But I'm under the ground completely, and I won't need any of the badges. So I'll just go into this gym just fine. I'm also going to reset my clock here, because we actually manipulate this fight. It's one of two fights that we manipulate. These fights are so, so bad without manipulation, because you know you just skipped the entirety of Kanto and a lot of Johto, too. So you're pretty underleveled, and the fights are just completely terrible without controlled outcomes. This minip in particular is extremely new. Yes, you're seeing something very fresh. I just need to go super fast here because the reset point's a lot earlier than before. These don't take nearly as long as the ID resets. I just wanted to get an update um, for a game that will be uh, more towards like the late night of tonight, um, Animusha Warlords, we just added two new incentives. One being, um, if we donate uh, $3,500, um, they will use the panda suit. <laughs> and the other one is for choosing the voice language, um, so either Japanese or English. So that is our new updated incentive. If you want that to happen, or if you want to see that panda suit, um, go ahead and do so now. So uh, I actually forgot to teach Flash. <laughs> so uh, it looks kind of silly, but I'm teaching Flash over Shadow Ball. I need this. Flash is actually literally the most important move for the rest of this run. So we're going to actually have to do that save again and then do the reset again. But that reset was only about you know, a handful of seconds. So we're going to have to reset the clock again. It's fine that you're already in the gym. Yeah. We just have to start the fight on a certain frame. But like, like Aura was saying, this is very new, so I, I don't have it committed to memory quite yet. It is possible it might be a little different because the uh, loading from entering the gym. Don't say that. We'll be fine. We'll find out together. <laughs> I mean, worse comes to worse, you just do the tweak again, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that should work. Better than Trick Room shenanigans. Shout out to Shenanigans, who's not here with us today. I miss him. <laughs> we have a $50 donation from Bass Guitar Bill that says, I'm donating because I really like boats. <laughs> and this boat in particular. You got to see it twice, so I hope you're happy, friend. <laughs> That's why you donated. If you like boats, there's another Pokemon game you might like even more. It's called XD, Gale of Darkness, for the Nintendo GameCube. Okay, we'll find out if this works, huh? I can always beat him the old-fashioned way, just it'll be interesting without Shadow Ball. Seventeen, eleven, eight, or three would be nice. Or, Not, uh, woo, we did it. Okay, <laughs> well, looks like the load does matter. My bad. <laughs> Why would you say such a thing? <laughs> There's also a chance that I was a little early too, but we'll just do that to be super safe. From here on out, it should only be like ten minutes before we're done. If that. Two two fights, so. So we just have to redo this again. I'm assuming you can't walk in the gym again from I there. I don't know if I have to reload it this way, but we're going to do it this way to be safe. I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, it'd be interesting if you could just you know, save right there and then enter the gym again. Goodness gracious. So we have to do this again. We're underground again. Yay. And the blue minip is the same as the starter minip where you're hitting a, a one frame at, at 30 FPS, yeah? Mm -hmm. We have a cluster of nine frames to work with, but... Oh, okay. 
So it's way better then. It'd be great if the timer would work. There we go. This fight without Manip isn't terrible, but it's very, very slow. And the logic behind it is since you have to save anyway, um, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't reset your clock like I am doing, but you would be based on like where you are in terms of like your frame and whatnot. Like when you're using live split and whatnot, you would just visually go off of it. And we talk to him because if you run forward, then he just pulls you aside anyway and it's a little slower. Oh goodness, not this again. Hopefully this time we actually get something I want to see. Now this is about part time of the run where you notice that our level isn't really that good. We're Low already under leveled as Low is. Lower than his lead, so. So miss. Flash MVP. Angle that a little better. They got the boost. And the miss. So, so yeah, as, as you can see, I'm predicting pretty much everything. He's he's going through a set of, of possible outcomes that are happening one after another, and then reacting to that with like the optimal path for beating the fight, since he's controlling the outcome by manipping it. So yeah, that's where Flash comes into play. Literally the most important move in the run. So I'm on one of two possible fights right now, and we'll find out which fight I'm on based on whether Charge Beam hits or misses the Gyarados. But this saves time in the sense that we don't have to set up nearly as many X items. Uh, we don't have to deal with Trick Room, which that's the big slowdown. As and you don't have to switch to Centered either. Yeah. Uh, it's You're barely favorable to survive Leaf Storm. So back then, we would just throw Centred out there because Leaf Storm drops your special attack by two stages. So that's the only way that we guarantee survive. Okay, so we are on this fight. And it doesn't really make too much of a difference if that misses or hits. Yeah. Like, if it if it hit, we'd be on a bit of a later seed, but we're on an earlier seed. So now we just charge me in the pidget, and it's over. And this is one of the better fights because you took no damage at all. You did yeah, lose a turn, but I mean, it's better than having the heal. Definitely. 15 and 17. All right, so there's one more fight left in the game. And we have to go through a bunch of stuff so we can actually get there. It's a very tricky move, isn't it? Hence the name. <laughs> We have a $5 donation from Anonymous that says, My daughter, who is seven now, has loved Pokemon since she was three years old and is completely obsessed now. She is watching this like a hawk and is determined to be a speedrunner now. So much fun. We also have a $150 donation from Vcos saying, as a Pokemon League owner and competitive TC 
CG player. Um, I feel obligated to give my donation during the Pokemon block. Pretty pleasant part of it. It's like the calm before the storm, essentially. <laughs> so now we go to Oak, and he's going to be like, wow, you got all 16 badges. Here, let me give you stuff. Now you can go to Mount Silver, and we only have six. People know how to count. But you do actually have to have Blue's badge, or he'll say, that's correct. you know, you don't have them. Oh, well, that's the, that's the check. <laughs> hey, Raycow. Good old Raycow. That's right. Got to see how many different ways you can say it in one, one run. Also, Mount Silver is a lot different in this game compared to Gold, Silver, and oh, Crystal. Oh, yeah, it's like couldn't be any more different. Instead of darkness, it's like a crazy spiral nonsense. That's a good way to describe it. <laughs> We have a $50 donation from uh, Trikinus that says, love watching all the games every year. Keep up the great work. I just realized that Titus Brand is going to be part of the final team. <laughs> <sighs> so for comparison, in Gen 2, it takes 19 seconds to get from here to the last room, to, to, to the final area. So, it's like minutes in this game. There's a lot to go through. Also, my movement's pretty bad right it now. It definitely feels like a much better, like, final area. Than, oh, agreed. But... And this is where the spiral comes in. <laughs> I really don't get the design, but... You know, it's okay. Twist Mountain before Twist Mountain. Yeah. Probably get a couple more donations in before we get to the last fight. No problem. We have a $50 donation from Jesse Czar that says, my husband and I met in college after he saw me playing Pokemon in the school cafeteria many years ago. And when we got married last year, we just had to include something Pokemon. We ended up having a Pokemon wedding cake. So we always love to donate during Pokemon runs. Much love to all of the runners. Let's hope that there's diamond dust. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how we'll find out. <laughs> if there's hail, then we all just learned a valuable lesson together. That's what this has really been about. Yeah. I'm also unsure if we can even win. I don't think so. But. And? <laughs> oh, goodness. Flash is a great move. It's going to have to be so good. So uh, whoever donated earlier that said you haven't beaten red before, I might not either. <laughs> I'm not even going to, I can't manip it at this point in time, so we're going to have a fun time. Flash is a great move. Do that again. Bottle that up and do that again. <laughs> we'll ex-defend that time. By the way, how, how many attempts do I get at this? What's the, what's the time at right now? Eight minutes. I get eight minutes to try this. OK, so we'll, we'll get it this time. All right, do that, do that again. Do that again. <laughs> okay. If I pull this off, I'm going to feel amazing. <sighs> we 
We have six healing items. We have multiple turns we have to set up. So if there weren't Diamond Dust, if we had done this right from the beginning, then, as I said before, we would manipulate this just like we did the blue fight. But because we have Hail instead, we need a whole lot of luck. Oh, well, that's gonna hurt. It's close. Yeah. That was a range. Okay, I'll try one more time, and even though I don't like the fact that I'm saying this, it'll have to be it, because it did not go the way it was supposed to, unfortunately. But there really wasn't much else we could have done. So I guess we'll do X Defend, Heal, X Special Defend. There we go. Not, not I mean, I was pressing B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if anything, as much as it sucks to not finish this, this is the perfect example of just how intricate everything is and how important everything is up to this point in time. Every little detail matters. It's like we initially we set the date to a certain date. That way we don't get hail. I would like to at least get past the Pikachu. Oh, no, that definitely wasn't a range. That definitely killed you for sure. Okay, so we're going to set up Flash <laughs> and hope that we get, like, I don't know, like 15 misses in a row. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, would somebody like to change the layout to bad percent? <laughs> bad ending percent? Because then I'll be done for real. Uh, there, there's nothing we can do at that point in time. Unfortunately, that's it. So we'll just let Pikachu take us out, and I will bow out. Still have Titus Brand. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oops. Get him. He let us down. <laughs> All right, well, unfortunately, that's Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. <laughs> so, real quick, like I had said, um, there's so much that goes into this run. Um, it's really hard to show it off in a marathon setting. I'm very happy that GDQ gave me the chance to try and show it off. I wish I did it a little more justice, but I hope everybody enjoyed it anyway. It's not a keys run run if you finish. Yeah, it's not, it's not a keys run without a, without a non-finish. Uh, quick shout outs to everyone watching at home right now, everyone here at the event, um, everyone in the Pokemon Speedrun community, everyone that's working their asses off here. Like, thank you so much for this event. And I guess my couch, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver.